beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed and so as we keep coming week after week i want you to realize that there is a transformation that is happening and that transformation is happening by the power of the word of god the word of god not only gives you knowledge it translates you to become what is saying and it empowers you to demonstrate the reality of what you claim to know any truth that you have and you know that cannot be demonstrated is not yet a revelation in your life hallelujah and so i want to challenge us that our passion in this place we must keep our passions high even as we seek to press to know him and to understand his ways i give you a guarantee the bible says they are alive to them those who find them not everybody will find them. They are not life to Christians, to those who find them. And health to their flesh. Ah, Kenny, it's good to see you. Hallelujah. And so I want to share with us a few things that will challenge us. Because it's my desire that the least of us will be as great as David. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Knowledge is like an atmosphere. It commands possibilities in your life. It's not about trying. It's either it is there or it is not. Hallelujah. Are you blessed already? So make sure that you are learning constructively. The goal is not just to carry out a service. You know that we have no business with religion here. The goal is to empower you. Praise the Lord. Come promise. Look at this. Please bring your what you are holding. Come. Watch this everyone. What is he holding? What is he holding? You are holding a book. You are aware you are holding a book. If I try to convince you that you are not holding anything, will you agree? Is it an issue of prayer? You are, this is called reality. You are holding on to something that has become a conviction. Please listen to me. This is not something you are trying to believe. This is not something that is subject to debate or the opinions of men. See, the degree to which your you become stable in the kingdom um, your stability is proportionate to the depth of your conviction whenever you are not convinced about the reality it's easy for you to drift either when it does not yet produce result or when there seem to be conflicting opinions the apostle said but i know whom i have 
I wasn't just told about him. I know. He says, and I am persuaded. Unshakable, immovable. That revelation has become a conviction for me. And I stand upon it. This is what God is doing with us. Bringing us to a point where we are convicted. That you know that you are holding something. You are holding something. That you can take to the world. And no devil, no culture, no system, no limitation, no gate can stop you. It's not just a prophecy. It's a resultant effect of paying attention. There are some things when you hold on to, you have entered your Sabbath. It's not if, it is when it will come. Is God speaking to us now? Thank you. Acts chapter 3. The Bible talks to us about the activities of the early church. Please pay attention. Jesus had resurrected. The Bible tells us in Acts chapter 1 how that he was with them for a period of 40 days teaching them on the matters of the kingdom he was helping them to be grounded in truth are we together and after the holy ghost had come in acts chapter 3 the bible says in the hour of prayer they were going to pray and then they saw a man he was begging for arms he had been there at gate beautiful and the Bible says this time around, when Peter and John came, Peter looked at him. And he made a very interesting statement in verse 6. Chapter 3 of Acts, verse 6. And Peter said, silver and gold have I none. He says, but what? Such as I have. The question is, at what point did he know he had it? Because there was a time he did not have it. Is that true? at what point what was the evidence that what happens to a man to know you've had something are you getting what i'm saying now he said such as i have i give i have something and i'm not only it's not just i am aware of it and it can be dispensed i have it i know that i have it I understand the dynamics of his operation and I can release it to you. He said, such as I have, I give. And he said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Let's see what happened the next verse, please. Watch what happened. He says, when he said that the man was still sitting, he didn't stand up. He was still sitting. And the Bible says, his sitting was not going to sway Peter. For Peter to say, I'm not sure again. Peter said, I know I have it. Whether you don't respond, it doesn't change my persuasion. Such as I have. You don't know the activities that sponsor my conviction. Your refusing to act is too small to shake me. And he held his hands. Because he knew he had something. And he was insisting, I have something. And when I speak to you, there should be an effect. And if there is no effect, I insist. He says, such as I have, many of us seeing that man seated would have quietly moved away for the shame. That is lack of conviction. You, you think you have something. Now a man stands before you and challenges your conviction. And at once you chicken out. But Peter said, no way, I know I have it. You are just meeting me. You don't know who else I have met. You don't know the 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 revelations that support my audacity i know i have something and the man was just looking many people have told me to try standing up and peter said you don't know me and the bible says he held his hands he knew he had something that revelation persuaded him enough he stood before that challenge and would not be embarrassed because he knew it must work hmm. is god speaking to us he says and he took him by the hand and what and lifted him and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength to validate that he had something to give listen peter would have looked at him and said well john you too you saw i tried we did exactly what jesus said oh god please don't be embarrassed after all we didn't collect money and he would have gone back that would not change the fact that he had something but it was not released Peter said, such as I have, 
I'm not only aware, I understand that it is supposed to be dispensed. And I refuse to allow what I am seeing to influence my convictions. It says, but I know whom I have believed. And I am persuaded. Not confused. Persuaded. The problem with the church is lack of persuasion. The grounds upon which our audacity is standing upon is fragile. We don't take time to establish conviction upon kingdom realities. We're in a hurry to get Rema. We're in a hurry to get revelation. We're in a hurry to get knowledge. Let me tell you something. The world is ruled by men of conviction, dead or alive. You don't respect a man because you believe in him. You respect a man because of consistency of conviction. When a man becomes unbending, he, he commands your respect at once. That's why we cannot pretend that Boko Haram is a force to reckon with. They will be defeated, but their convictions are strong. Strong unto death. Are you getting what I'm saying now? The only reason, the only reason why faith is an issue in the church is because our convictions are small. Hallelujah. And so when we sit down like this, as the word of God comes, it gives us understanding. It not only tells you what you have, it explains to you the dynamics of it. So that you get to a realm of persuasion. Where nothing can shake you say amen. amen listen pay attention to what i'm saying because life will challenge it at any level ask any leader life will challenge your convictions from head to toe and the gates will only open when you prove that you merit it opening not everything in the kingdom is a gift there are things that are rewards rewards for consistency rewards for persuasion hallelujah are we together when the holy spirit comes please listen when the holy spirit comes upon a believer at new birth i want you to know that the coming of the holy spirit in every one believer that gives his life to christ introduces the presence of God to that man's life a presentation of the presence of the father the Bible tells us again and again is that true so when the Holy Spirit comes listen comes to live in you he represents the presence of God and with him is a measure of God's ability at work in you everybody say God's ability say it one more time God's ability say God's energy say God's capacity when the Holy Spirit dwells in a man his presence comes with a measure of God's ability at work in that man now whether or not you know it whether or not you use it is a different thing but that is the truth because scripture cannot be broken are we together now so when the Holy Spirit comes he comes with a measure of God's ability this is very interesting because the kingdom was designed never to function absolutely by the strength of man listen the changes that humanity requires cannot be affected just by the, the strength of man it cannot just be affected by intellect it cannot just be affected by kindness and charity it takes more than that it takes an ability that is supernatural it takes the ability of God to bring transformation, not just preaching. Do you know what it means to speak to a man and just by speaking, make that man change his ideologies? An ideology that he has hold or he's held through for decades and then in one meeting you speak and he's persuaded enough. It's called utterance, not oratory. 
Oratory is the ability to speak well. You learn that in school. Utterance is the capacity to communicate spiritual realities on the strength of God's ability such that the listener is able to enter into your experience. That is utterance. It's not oratory. What we have in church is oratory, but we need utterance. It's a gate that gives you access to the ability of the spirit to persuade men such that they subscribe to the value system of the kingdom are we together so the ability of the holy spirit that brings it that divine life many christians jump and about having the divine life but we do not see the evidence of that divine life That divine life that dwells within you and it comes with a measure of the ability of the spirit if you do not recognize that there is an ability of the spirit that is at work in you you will rob yourself of the capacity to function like God God gave us his ability so that we can produce his result listen listen only God's kind of result can bring change and impact in our world only God's kind of result can bring blessings. Only God's kind of result can bring lifting. Only God's kind of result can bring transformation. If you're with me, say amen. God's ability. That's what we call power. That's what we call the anointing. The anointing is not oil. The anointing is God's energy. His very ability. We define power in physics as what? work done per unit time energy expended that's exactly the definition of the ability of god his capacity when god wants to do anything he depends on his ability and so when he sends you as his ambassador he gives you his ability god's ability say it again god's ability one definition of frustration is to try to achieve god's kind of result with your ability you will see how crippled you look in life. Say after me, I have the ability of God. How many people have gone to seek people out of zeal and kindness? You are sick, Sam. In the name of Jesus, be healed. By their ability, they want to seek God's result. But they are conscious of their ability. No. No. It is not given to man. Please hear me. It is not given to man to produce God's result with his ability. How many pastors and churches are frustrated because they are trying to get growth. They are trying to get this and, and all kinds of teachings. It takes the ability of God. Shout it God's ability. Listen, listen. I'm telling you this. Don't just allow the scientific world fool you. The realm of the spirit controls the physical realm. It was James the apostle that told us, for as the body without the spirit, there must be a spirit component to everything for it to work. I don't care what it is. If there is no spirit component, it is there. There must be a spirit component to business. There must be a spirit component to your academics. There must be a spirit component to marriage. I love you, I love you is not enough. There must be a spirit component. There must be a spirit component to anything that we do. The problem is, many times we ignore the spiritual side because we think it is not necessary. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. How helpless a man is, brothers and sisters. How helpless in the face of this cruel life. There are gates on every mountain. There are giants on every mountain. It doesn't take stories to move them. It takes the ability. There are devils standing on the gates of your finances. It takes the ability of God. Why do we need the ability of God? It's his power to effect changes. Listen, change can never occur until the power of God is present in a place. Any kind of change. The ability to effect change from healings to miracles.
to soul winning to transformation it is entirely dependent on the ability of God there are so many people who try to do evangelism sincerely from their heart but there is no ability how many times have we stood in the face of situations that honestly demand the touch of God but we know that we are short of God's ability God gave you his ability so that you can truly produce change the Bible says in John chapter 15 it says herein is my father glorified when you bear much fruit so then shall ye be my disciples God wants us to bear fruit but it takes an ability an ability higher and greater than yourself are you getting what I'm saying now the second reason why we need the ability of God is to be able to produce supernatural results please write it down supernatural results if your results are natural the world does not have space for you the 21st century does not have space for natural results the minimum standard in our world today is a supernatural it takes an ability of God for a mortal man to produce results out of proportion hmm. the Bible says they were astonished when they saw Jesus Christ and they saw the kinds of results that he was producing let me tell you something don't ever allow anybody preach you into thinking results do not matter in the school of greatness only God sees the heart men can only see the outward appearance please are you hearing what I'm saying don't ever let anyone fool you it's God that can see the heart you can die with your good intentions if you want to influence men you must let your light shine not let your light glow it must shine for men to see not angels God wants them to see it it is in the seeing that they become persuaded therefore permit your light to so shine before men that they may see your good works and as a result glorify your father John 17 verse 1 Jesus was speaking he said now the hour has come he was speaking to the Lord he said glorify now thy son to the end that thy son will bring you glory so the only way God is glorified is when we are glorified our glorification is a means to an end not an end in itself it gives God the opportunity because no man can praise himself you need another to praise you it's against the law of greatness for you to praise yourself when you praise yourself it's called arrogance when another man praises you it's called honor hallelujah so we need the ability of God to produce changes there are people here who are sick it doesn't take stories we can shout and jump around and just make a lot of noise when they tell your dad in the office or your mom we are going to fire you brothers and sisters it takes the ability of the spirit to change it when the landlord tells you tomorrow if you cannot bring your money you are out it takes what the ability of God the problem is this we have ignored the ability of God in the church we believe in God but we have ignored his ability that anointing that agency of the spirit that empowers men to produce change and to produce results this ministry by the grace of God is a testimony of God's ability the ability of God walking through men And I want that to become your testimony from tonight. That tonight you will give up on just trying to get things happen by your strength. When you depend on God's ability, you will see results that are out of proportion. Praise the Lord. Tonight is a very simple teaching. Until the ability that is within a believer is released, he can never be a blessing. To his generation i want you to know this until the ability that is resident within a believer is released not acquired not gotten you're being anointed 
does not make any meaning to your generation until that anointing is released the release of that ability is what brings about blessings the bible says no man lights a lamp and puts it under a bush no man does that but you the purpose of lighting it is so that it can give illumination and direction so until the ability or the anointing is released the believer can never be a blessing you only become a blessing when you allow the measure of god's ability in you to find expression in your physical world the bible says and the word became flesh and did what it now dwelt among men and they beheld the glory they could never behold the glory for as long as it was in the realm of the spirit but when it became flesh Shadrach, it's good to see you. I'm happy seeing my people. Praise the Lord. The word became flesh. The anointing that God has given you, when it translates into wisdom that men can relate with, when it translates into creativity that men can relate with, when it translates into dunamis power, the capacity to produce change here and now, then Christ is glorified. Otherwise, we'll keep talking a lot of stories. That which is resident within you must find expression for Christ to be glorified. Are we together now? Now, the problem with many of us seated here is not that we are not anointed. It's not that the hand of God is not upon our lives. But that inability to understand the dynamics of expressing the ability of God is what has crippled us. And so we stand before mountains we can walk over and yet we cry before them. The reason is because we have not come to a point where we realize that the ability of God is at work in us. Moses, listen, Moses stood before the Red Sea. God did not add anything to him. Right there, there was the ability to cross over. But he was afraid. When he went back, God just said, why are you coming to me? I gave you a rod. The word is in your mouth. Tell the people to move forward. He went back and did what he would have done in the first place. Do you know that many times when you go to God, most of the things you get from Him is comfort because actually you have the ability to do what you do. But just because our psychology is built around just hearing something from God and so God said it is well, now go. And then you get up and go. You would have done that right away. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Your going and that reception of comfort was just to encourage you. But all the while, the ability was within you. When he appeared to Gideon in the book of Judges chapter 6, when he looked at him, what did he call him? Oh, thou mighty man of failure. But Gideon was hiding. There was no special impartation service. He just said, Gideon, what is going on? Ah, Gideon said, God, you too, you know what is going is happening. And he began to tell him how that he was going to go and defeat the Midianites. There is an ability within you. I'll never forget the first time God told me this thing. Listen, it's not enough to know God is mighty. This was a song that gave me that revelation. You know this song, Lord, you reign forever. Lord, you reign forever. I worship you. Years ago, I was singing this song. I worship you. This was the part that changed me. You reign, you reign. You reign, you reign. That's you talking to the Lord. And I heard it very clearly like a man singing back to me. This was what I heard. You reign, cause I reign. You reign, cause I reign. You reign. This is what God is telling me back. He's responding to my worship and saying, Son, it's not enough to know I reign. There's no confusion about that. The trouble is here on earth so reign because i reign now that you are aware i've told you you are like me i expect a legislation that is consistent with what is happening in heaven that way the kingdom comes it's not enough to say lord i know you are reigning what is happening to us here we are dying keep reigning let's keep dying no no it says thy kingdom come thy will be done where in the earth not in heaven there is no confusion about order in heaven the confusion is here so he says rain and it gave me an understanding not just these things people jump around i'm a king i'm a king and one die like a fool 
you jump based on knowledge and revelation see you can have something and you can take it anywhere believe me i know what i'm saying a man can have something and you can hold on to it and run with it that's what god is speaking to us he reigns so you reign he reigns so you reign so he expects you to legislate ah. listen listen a man called saint patrick have you heard about saint patrick a man called saint patrick the son of the king had died for six months how many months six months they had buried him and it was it was bringing a lot of catastrophe and that man called saint patrick walked straight to the grave and signed his name on it saint patrick and they opened it and dug out a human being alive it's in history men who knew they had something not independent of god listen with god all things are possible i've demonstrated it for you here come promise can i use you again with promise all things are possible without him some things are no longer possible but with him the word with god here means in partnership in partnership that's why we call it koinonia in partnership there is an ability you and god constitute an unbeatable team have you watched wrestling how they can beat somebody as if they are passing him through a meat machine and then on the other side his colleague is there bouncing and saying touch me show that you 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 are weak but we are a tag team is that true if you win we share the money together if you lose we lose together it's a partnership and so the holy ghost is standing and telling you look look you have been going around this mountain why don't you come into partnership with me there is an ability within you listen listen there is an ability it's called energies the greek word is energies it says now unto him philippians 3 uh, uh, 20 unto him who is able he has an ability to do exceedingly abundantly far above all we ask or think not according to his might according to the power that works not in heaven in you in you the possibilities in your life are dependent on activating the anointing and the ability of the spirit within you and so like the wrestling someone lifts his hands and have you seen the way people touch the other i mean they almost have no strength and they touch somebody else and he jumps in and plays nonsense with the one who has been beating his colleague and wins and then he holds the guy who is a team together and they lift the belt together he doesn't leave the belt and say you when you are tired stand up and walk home he lifts him and says we won listen i'm bringing you into a revelation that your victory starts from the standpoint a consciousness that with you and the holy ghost never do anything outside of the holy ghost you will fail it's not a prophecy it was designed to happen that way master we have toiled all night but in partnership with your word let's go back and watch a miracle are you hearing what i'm saying now prophet elijah outside of the holy spirit he could not say anything he said look guys you want prophecy from me i can't move my human ability cannot do anything but play me in israel and the moment they began to play when the holy ghost came upon him he said now i have something to say fill these ditches with water you may not see wind you may not see rain yet the valley shall be filled with water listen that is not yet possible in your life does not mean it is not possible it's amazing how a challenge can be killing you and somebody will come and pass it as if it does not exist there is an ability that sponsors that audacity and i want you to know that if you are in christ that ability is within you there is an ability i walk conscious of this every time i go to minister i walk conscious of this and the lord walking with them 
and the Holy Spirit working, not just in Joshua Selman, but with Joshua Selman. There is a partnership, it's a koinonia. We are inseparable. It's like the, a salt covenant. Where I am foolish, I trust his wisdom. Where I am confused, there is strength. When I stand before a sick body, I know I am very aware. I'm intelligent enough to know that you cannot squeeze out cancer from somebody and it disappears at once. I'm smart enough to know that that cancer is matter. It has weight. It can occupy space. But then when his ability comes, Shabala Katayaba, hmm, when his ability comes, that's when the difference. See, listen, don't trivialize what I'm sharing with you. This is your recipe. This is your key to unstoppable, unstoppable exploits in the kingdom. The ability of the spirit. Thank you. Let's take a few things. I want us to pray. Let's take down a few things. You must allow the measure of God's anointing within you to find expression and produce testimonies in the lives of people. Just two or three things I'll say again and then we'll pray. God's ability in a man can grow and it can increase. The ability of God that is resident within a man can grow. Every living thing grows. God's ability is alive and so it can grow. That you have received a measure of that ability. Listen, listen. The ability of the spirit in a man is like currency. Let me explain to you something. Please look up. Please look up. Who has money? Somebody give me money. 1,500. Thank you. Watch this. If this is 200 naira, how many things can 200 naira buy? 200 naira can buy a bottle of minerals. Is that true? Can it buy wine? But is it money? At least it can buy some things. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now let me explain to you something about God's ability. God's ability in you can only solve problems that are within the range of the dimension of that ability anything higher than that measure watch this that measure cannot be solved although you have the ability listen 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 i want you to get this the ability of the spirit the anointing of the spirit at work in people is in levels and there are possibilities that are activated within that level and that measure are you getting what i'm saying when the measure of God's ability is at work in you, every problem, every giant, every mountain that is within that range of power will be solved. But everything higher than it will remain an obstacle. Get this revelation and you will see the reason why although you are anointed, some things have not changed. Praise the Lord. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Thank you. Just like this currency, watch this. This is 200 naira. It can buy wine. Mama put, you can eat something with this now. Yam and, and akarankose. Watch this. I can eat akarankose at Mama put with this. Comfortably. With dignity. Can this take you to a five-star hotel, the restaurant? But is this money? So what do you need to do if you want to go to a five-star hotel? Increase the same thing not a different thing increase a measure of the very same thing are you getting what i'm saying listen that you have a measure does not mean the challenges in life respond to measures of the anointing measures of graces don't let any man fool you that the moment you have an ability it can solve every problem it's not true those who talk those things have not worked in the anointing believe me i know what i'm saying this is what i work in every day it's like a range when you upgrade on the level of the anointing that's why the bible says he measured a thousand cubits and it was to my feet but i got to a level where that would not be enough again then he had to measure a thousand cubits and the river increased and it was to my knees are we together now and then he measured a thousand cubits and it was to my loins 
then he measured a thousand cubits and it was an overflowing river and he said everywhere that river went whatever was dead came alive there are different levels of the anointing the ability of the spirit so a mountain can jump and leave and you go to another mountain and you can be shouting everything you know and the mountain steers you there are sick bodies that we may struggle around with in many crusades in nigeria and those sick bodies can be there let benny hill step in just two songs of worship i guarantee you not he has not even if he's talking about relationship it doesn't matter he can even teach on how to be a nice housewife and while he is teaching see the anointing does not care what is happening it whenever he sees a need and a demand for it it flows there immediately are you getting what i'm saying now so god's ability in you responding to a situation you can have a challenging issue that looks like a mountain and someone comes with the ability of god and brings a dimension of wisdom you never thought of and dissolves that thing in one minute and it's over case closed the ability of the spirit that was what happened to daniel they were about to slaughter them and kill them and he said ah, ah why is the king hasty in this all these people have tried their ability he said please just give us time and the bible says in the night the secret was revealed to daniel and he got up in the morning and answered the king same thing happened to joseph see how men took their generations by the ability of the spirit joseph did not become a prime minister because of interpretation of dreams joseph became a prime minister because he offered a very serious supernatural solution to the problem if you had interpreted dreams they would have said okay we have had you please um water go and lock him up and he would have just gone back highest they would have given him a day off and he's back to the prison but he was smart enough in addition to the dream he said i know this the answer this is what we should do and when he said that look at him i love joseph he said oh king find a man he knew there was no man find a man check around don't trivialize my grace find a man if you can find another man with it no problem and the king said is he not here we kept quarreling asking people to come and interpret the dreams where can we find such a man that's why we worship the lord truly because there is nobody like him are you getting what i'm saying that's the reason why we worship him we love him searched all over couldn't find nobody i looked high and low still couldn't find nobody nobody prayed nobody prayed and no nobody prayed and no listen there is something the spirit of god will do to you that this song will become for you no, not just for god I want you to always be conscious of I, 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 God can give you a territory my brothers and my sisters I want you to listen to me God can put something upon your life that will make let me not go ahead of myself thank you sir thank you sir That you come to a point where there is something in you without any show of pride you know it's not cheap and you know it's not what you find by the roadside listen when you explore the ability of God in you from border to border you will enter your Sabbath experientially I guarantee you hmm. the Bible says now there remaineth a rest for the people of God Hebrews chapter 4 right and he says let us therefore labor the word labor there is content even as unto death to enter that rest for he that has entered that rest has ceased from his works there are two ways the ability of god in you can grow number one is by revelation 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 grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge grace and peace be multiplied through knowledge through knowledge 
the word knowledge there is the word translated epignosis a comprehension of truth that makes the person who is knowing it and what is known become one not just awareness is actually the word that is interpreted intercourse so grace and peace is multiplied through knowledge hallelujah revelation when light comes to you then you will arise the bible says they that sat in darkness they have seen a great light great light arise and shine isaiah 60 it says for your light is come not your light is around the light has come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you it says is one revelation god gave me watch this please if you are if you're a minister of the gospel here let me share with you a secret please look up money does not make a great ministry are you hearing what i'm saying you don't let any man fool you money does not make a great ministry it is impact that makes a great ministry and supplies finances financing ministry is a product of impact are you getting what i'm saying now impact and this is how it happens when your light starts shining gentiles will come unbelievers drug addicts all kinds of people will come kings will never come to your light when you become consistent and you keep growing it will start attracting brightness and excellence is a language there are those who know how to speak it the moment you start speaking their language they will come it says gentiles shall come to your light there is a level of ministry where all you see are gentiles people who are coming to be saved those coming to be sick somebody dragging his trolley of problems and coming to dump it and then you have to work on it but the time will come as your light begins to become bright like the day kings will start coming kings don't come to your light they come to the brightness the brightness of your rising and when they come like queen sheba they will not come empty-handed they will come with their bounties they will come with their blessings the wise men from the east when they saw jesus christ they came with gold they came with frankincense they came with man they came to honor him every time there is brightness it begins to draw certain kinds of people so there are many men of god who are trying to look for money they are trying to look for money because they think money makes an impactful ministry what an error it doesn't work that way money is only a reward money is a receipt for doing something right we've learned it here when you get money as a man of god is a receipt just like you buy something the receipt means you have paid for it not you will pay for it the receipt is an evidence that something has been done not is being done not will be done but the problem is we trivialize the ability of the spirit in us how many of us have looked like gideon and felt that there is nothing within us oh there is that great man of god there there is that great woman of god there and we forget mary was there standing and an angel appears to her and says blessed are you women among this and that and that and then he told her that she was going to carry a child and she said how shall these things be in other words naturally this should not happen seeing that i know not a man and the angel said something which is key for us this night it says the power of the highest that's how it happens the power of the highest shall overshadow you how can i be the last born in my family and yet i'm the one god will use to wipe the tears of people he says the power of the highest there is an ability of the spirit that can come upon you the second key to growing in the anointing and in god's ability is impartation 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 is a transference of spiritual virtues transference of spirits transference of possibilities a man who is a possessor of a dimension of possibility can share it like you use a candle to light another it is a possibility in the spirit that's the character of the dimension of god's ability called dunamis 
is an ability that is capable of being reproduced. Listen, I've said it again and again. A true leader does not maintain followers. A true leader reproduces himself and turns followers into leaders. If Joshua Selman remains a superstar and an anointed man, everybody keeps clapping, I have failed. From the world's perspective and from the perspective of mediocres, we keep clapping. But let me tell you something. God's dimension of measure or his index of measuring success is not just by the crowd we have inside and outside. It is the individuals becoming a replica of his grace and anointing and his ability. God measures success one by one. He doesn't measure success by a crowd. Thank God for all of that. It's an evidence of the hand of God. But if we are to sample 10 people at random, and engage you with spiritual challenges and see how you are able to navigate through the dynamics of the operation of the spirit it is a true measure of the success of this ministry the ability to be empowered and carry that conviction and go and begin to produce results around your sphere of influence and i insist that it must happen to you in the name of jesus christ so impartation and revelation write this down very quickly the channels for releasing the ability of God the ability of God must be released please burn this into your mind I'm being very simple tonight because I want us to have this basic understanding before we pray the anointing the ability of the spirit must be released for people to be blessed by it it must be released it's not just the obtaining of the ability of God, but the dispensing, the release of it. That's what brings blessings to people. God's ability. God's ability is working in me. Is working in me. God's ability, God's ability is working in me, it's working in me, it's God's ability, God's ability is working in me. Is working in me. Sing it with me. God's ability. God's ability is working in me. It's working in me. And so when a mountain stands before you and you carry this ability you will move with audacity humanly speaking you should chicken out come on but i love david david stands with a sling conscious of an ability that is bigger than him and goliath said am i a dog i know i'll kill you but at least respect me come with knife as if you are fighting a man and david said i will not i will disgrace you let me even tell you how i will kill you this is what will happen this sling will hit you and i will remove your head it's god's ability when you see men do supernatural things brothers and sisters i want you to know it's god's ability what you see happening tonight is god's ability the energy the very strength of god manifested as wisdom manifested as power manifested as faith manifested the, the ability of god is what we call grace whether grace to become or grace to do is all called grace and it's god's ability that's what makes men champions 
that's what makes men wonderful people is the ability of god the ability of god is like a programming it's like a software when it enters you you are infected there's nothing you can do about it the moment you carry it your environment begins to respond that's the treasure that we have in earthen vessels it's not about the vessel but the treasure and god designed it the only way you benefit from the treasure is to carry the vessel along that's the reason why when a man is anointed you don't bring out the anointing and keep him you carry the man too as you honor the anointing you honor him when you bless the anointing anointing cannot eat is the vessel that eats it as his benefit for paying attention he's working in me look at the bible full of people who took advantage of this divine ability If you get this one thing I'm teaching you, you will change your life in a remarkable way. Hallelujah. Play this mic. Aaron sent me a text before I came here, Pastor. And um, he sent me a text and said, Man of God, I want you to explain to me what exactly happened in Port Harcourt. And then I looked and he said I was going to talk with him. I shared my Port Harcourt story. I shared it here, right? Pastor, he came from Port Harcourt. It's a land of greatness and a land of plenty. Listen, I was going to Port Harcourt and all I had, watch this. Although God has corrected me recently because I've been running my mouth saying things. I've grown now. God has corrected me recently. In one of my retreats, I've been corrected. So I will update my curriculum because i keep saying all i had was my bag that bag was a seed i know the kind of faith that brought that bag that bag was a seed i remember dragging that bag and the ministry was about this size then everybody and they were all escorting me as if they were going for a funeral and that was how we went to the park that park in um that park on your way to kaduna just this one yes that Kwangila Park and they dropped me there and I was laughing they were pity because they knew aside from my bus fare all I had left home and abroad in terms of monetary value was 800 naira and I was going to a land I had never gone to but I did not like the woman in 2nd Kings chapter 4 I forgot that I had an ability I kept looking at my rickety bag and all of this listen I dropped at number 23 Quarry Street around to 2 in the afternoon. When I dropped there, I knew I was stupid for sure because no right thinking human being would do what I had done. And I stopped there, 800 naira. And I knew it would be foolish for me to try to look for a hotel to stay. So the closest thing was at least to finish up the 800 naira and eat something with it. So I went to one my mother was sharing something and watch this one thing i knew was that i was going to reign in that land i didn't know how to describe it but i knew there was an ability sometimes you need to come to the end of your road to now find out what you have been calling spare part whereas that is all you need second kings chapter 4 the woman lost everything the husband used the children as collateral when everything had gone the prophet said what do you have in your house he said nothing except and he said you call it except the vessel is only the oil is small because of the vessel that took it not because it is small when you expand capacity the oil will increase with it he said the oil is much is only because the oil was housed in a small vessel borrow vessel enlarge your capacity and when that woman did that she became rich with it so i went there i'll never forget when i was eating the holy spirit just sent a signal to my spirit and i found out one of my friends that used to live there and i called him and i told him i'm here this and that and that can i come and stay for a while and then i came i went to the house and i stayed there listen my money had finished let me tell you what happened i was broke there was i mean things were bad then his sister was sick when his sister was sick i wasn't happy that she was sick don't misunderstand me but at least i was comforted that 
something <laughs> listen undertakers are not happy that people die but at least it is the make are you getting what i'm saying now and so when she said she was sick i prayed for her when she was healed she came with a seed of one thousand naira listen that one thousand naira was what i used to buy my suit to do my first ministration the suit was not what you sell around the suit was this kind you see this kind that they move around with it you just call the man listen let me tell you a secret it's better than many things they hang around nobody will know it's only you that will know ah oh yes are we together now i remember my friend in abuja calling one pastor in port Harcourt and say a mighty man of god is in town and he said all kinds of things about me and the man said and then it happened to be that the man was from my state watch this no 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 play that thing i'm going to sing this song a lot this song we started that's our special number for this night that god's ability song listen god is my witness when I took a bike to go and see the pastor, he hosted us and another person. We ate in his house and then he went to go and introduce me to the church. As soon as I stepped into the building, my eyes were open and I gave the pastor three prophecies. Three prophecies in the church. Are you with me? Three days after the prophecy, the first one happened. Point five million came into the church. The overseer said, call that man. He's coming to preach on Sunday. Ah! There is an ability oh, it can open doors when all else fail makata labada yes many things in life can fail don't trust them the real capital in your life is the anointing that one is fail proof certificate can fail internet can fail brother when all else fails reach out deep down god's ability God's ability is working in me. It's working in me. Listen, I went to the church. I bought the suit with the money. I can't remember how much. Dress looks smart. You will never know. Because I, I refused to. I knew that my present was a thing I just had to manage with. In my mind, I was light years ahead of my present. So I wasn't embarrassed by it. Because I knew my physical reality will necessarily, necessarily become my mindset and my perspective. When I went there on that Sunday morning, it was a Sunday morning, I was on my way to come and they sent me the message to preach. They said I should preach about vow. I said I fasted for three days for this opportunity. And you are now sending me the message. God had already given me a word. Listen, the man with the church was a prophet. He doesn't come out until after the service. When you finish preaching, he will now come out and do his thing. When I stepped in and I looked at the people, I'd never seen a congregation of people who were that demonized. And um, there was, you know, we are used to, we write our songs in Zaria, right? So it's very difficult to sing these songs outside because we write our songs, we receive them, we compose them. And I didn't know the kind of song to raise because. Uh, I wasn't used to all those songs. Our songs, you can be humming for 30 minutes. You don't do that there. There was one song that I remember. Now is the time for the new anointing. Gird up your loins and be ready. Every yoke of bondage surely must be broken. That was a song I raised. My goodness. That meeting, that meeting was something else. It was, it, was, it was an amazing meeting. You can imagine the things that God did. After that meeting, I had honorarium. I ate in the house of the pastor. They took me to another place. You know how they are. They are not like the not here that ignore your grace till you die. <laughs> right there, once they see grace, they celebrate it immediately. It's not in the notes that they will just look and say, can you help me? No. They know how to... Am I lying, pastor? Come on now. They celebrate grace very generously. And so we went there. And from that meeting, they said two weeks after the church was going to have a convention and I was going to be their major speaker. Listen, from that time, 
it was one meeting after one meeting after one encounter after one encounter after one encounter after one encounter and within six months my life had changed changed in a way I didn't even know where I was coming from again it had so changed the road had deleted behind me never to return there again that's why I never forget his ability when all else fail today I've stood before kings I've stood before politicians none of my certificates have brought me before these people but an ability of the spirit are you hearing what I'm saying so don't ignore it especially for some of you who are in school read your book but don't fool yourself the world we live in needs an ability of the spirit needs an ability of the spirit let's finish up hmm. the primary channel for releasing God's ability is your words 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 where the word of a king is there is power Ezekiel chapter 2 from verse 1 and 2 and the spirit entered me when he spake unto me the spirit entered me when he spake unto me the spirit entered me when he spake unto me an impartation a dispensing of that anointing he said and it set me upon my feet listen there are people sitting now hearing me you will stand up from this meeting and it's like something will suddenly rise within you and you will say i know i may not be any other thing but i'm anointed i may not be any other thing Kabalakata. i was teaching the school of ministry students and i taught them no matter what society says you are not they may be right but they are wrong when they say you are not anointed they may be right they may say you are not fine it may be true they may say you are from a background where the map of your village was not added when they were you don't even use gps to find it they are right but if they ignore the anointing they are wrong the anointing will make nations follow you on their knees and it will be a privilege for them to receive of your grace you will be standing surprised while they are saying thank you God's ability is released through words. Number three, your hands. Listen, please look up. I know that many of us have ignored our hands. I want everybody to look at your hands if you can. These hands. It's working in you. God's ability. God's ability. It's working in you. He's working in you. Listen. These hands you see, brothers and sisters, a hand is a mystery in the realm of the spirit. A hand is not what holds people. That's why the Bible talks about the right hand of God. It talks about the hand of God. The hands are also doors in the spirit. They are channels for releasing the anointing. The work of a man is done through his hands. When you realize that there is an ability on your hands, it will bring upon your life creativity. It will bring upon your life innovations. You will do things through your hands you will never believe possible. These hands, these hands can open the gates of nations to you. These hands can bring kingdoms to their knees. These hands can swing the two leaf gates of your destiny open God's ability God's ability is working in me is working in me brothers and sisters you are getting blessed right now because I am speaking you are not hearing English 
some of you you don't even know what is happening to you as you are listening to me you don't know whether you should sit down whether you should stand up because there is an ability my mouth is a window it's a window revealing the realm of the spirit it's a window communicating the secret place something is happening to your spirit as you are receiving this is not a lecture this is not a lecture it's an ability the power of the holy ghost it's working in you <laughs> he's working in you it's god's ability god's ability it's working in you it's working in you and so as you speak the opening of your mouth is like the opening of the portals in the spirit and you begin to speak as you communicate those realities you are changing people they don't even know what is happening to them they just know that there is an activity it's not english it's not oratory it's called utterance 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 is by the ability of the spirit it's not a lecture you are changing men you are using words to bring them into an experience they cannot explain the ability of god walking in a man and so the spirit enters you the words come with fire the words come with illumination they do something to your spirit man it's like light some of you sometimes you don't even know what you are receiving you can't tell what is happening to you it's like hammer it's like fire you can't tell it's an ability it comes help that baby please it comes from heaven an ability of the spirit God's ability. Be sensitive. I sense the anointing of the Holy Spirit already moving. We're going to pray. It's working in me. That's what I want you to become. So anointed. So full of his ability. The Bible says even God who quickened the dead and uses his mouth to call things. He uses his mouth to make things happen that would not have happened. The prophet said by this time he was not revealing, he was creating. It wouldn't have happened. His words created it. He's working in me. Listen, many of us have been speaking. It's time for us to be communicators of light and power. It's time for us to be communicators of divine reality. I see the angels of the Lord pouring what looks like oil on people. This is what I see. It's like an anointing coming on people. Strong anointing of the Holy Ghost. God's ability. It's an ability. It's an ability of the Holy Ghost. That the opening of your mouth is a gate in the spirit. Working in me. Working in me. God's ability. It's God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. Shake a ba la ba 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 ba. God's ability. It's God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. Sing it with me, everybody. God's ability. God's ability. It's working in me. It's God's ability. It's God's ability. It's working in me. Listen. Listen. The third way, the ability of God is dispensed is through the instrument of your atmosphere hmm. listen when you carry the ability of god that ability creates like a spiritual electromagnetic field around you anybody that comes within that atmosphere 
possibilities just like many of you are under this atmosphere right now and then sicknesses will leave just by themselves without any prayer there is an ability of the spirit when Saul came into an atmosphere where there was a principality called Samuel the atmosphere affected him and the spirit of prophecy fell upon him when the ability of God is at work in you your atmosphere has prophetic implications your atmosphere has prophetic implications it's working in me yeah. hallelujah God's ability is released by faith you release the ability of God by faith let me explain to you what I mean the ability of the spirit listen is released on the strength of conviction your persuasion about who God is and what he has put in you sponsors your audacity to take action action based on that consciousness is called faith we've taught a lot of dogma about faith faith is nothing based on just human asset faith is the name given to the action you take based on your persuasion of who God is and then the Bible says and the Lord walking with them confirming the word listen the anointing of the spirit is the principal capital in your life please hear me Action that is based on your conviction as action that is based on expectation by the ability of the spirit so your hands you expect that people will receive impartations this is how it works brothers and sisters there is an ability in you there is an ability in you you must know this there is an ability in you it's, it's not it's not about some gimmicks please this is not even about falling down it's called the mystery of godliness where god can dwell in a man so your body is like a puppet they are seeing you but there is another agency at work it's called the ability of god that's what will make you a wonder men will keep looking when they think they have exhausted you then you come from another dimension because you are connected to a supply that is eternal not bounded with time no fatigue is not bounded to the limitations of this system it's the ability of god the ability of god reproduce again and again and again and again it's not about trial and error you can gain mastery in the dispensing of his ability yes yes strongly belongs to those who are of full age who by reason of use they have gained mastery it's like fighting God's ability it's God's ability he's working in me that's why we can tell you to come for this meeting and we can guarantee that you will be blessed yes we can guarantee not on the strength of the flesh there is an ability no man's hardness can stand it no matter how stubborn you are it doesn't make any difference because when he shows up the bible says the voice of god upon the waters is mighty listen this is what happens in the teachings there are many people here who have come from other places and they cannot explain what happens to them when they listen to these teachings it's not so much about the revelation there is an ability in it that compels compliance it's called anakazo it's a greek word it's the compelling power of the spirit it is with that ability that we can prophesy over your life and your job and it will change listen it's not just saying change change receive 
and all those things are garbages. What is the ability that sponsors it? For I am a man under authority, he says. And on the strength of that authority, I tell one, go, and he will go. I tell one, come, and he will come. How can cancer die? God's ability. How can a jobless person get a job before Monday? God's ability. How can a, a, a life... I mean, come on, think about it, people. It's the ability of the Spirit. It's not by might. It's not by power. There is an ability bigger than your effort, bigger than your strength. It's God's ability. Help them, please. God's ability is working in me. It's working in me. There are three rewards when you can press to manifest the ability of God. There are three rewards. Reward number one is to become a desirable personality. Nations will desire you because you carry that which is needed. They may criticize you, but they will desire you. There is too much darkness in this world for the careers of the anointing to be ignored. It has nothing to do with ministry. That's the key to being an ambassador. The nations will look for you when you carry this capital call the anointing it will open gates you will become Bula you will become Hefzibah the delight some land you will become greatly desired when you carry this anointing listen I have met men and women that no level of qualification in life would have given me access to them at this level and I am amazed I am amazed I travel all the time and I am humbled people love me from regions to regions it's not just that they love Joshua Selman many of them don't even know me there is something when you carry it you become a joy of nations when you carry that anointing you become desirable the anointing will make up for your weaknesses it will make up big time listen listen years ago there was somebody who wanted to go to nda and there is a height there is a level to which if you are not as tall as that height they will not take you and the person who wanted to go there was lower than that height and when he went they dismissed him and he went and met the emir of zaria and the emir of zaria sent him with delegates that they should go and tell the commandant and the people that the emir has added his height did you hear what i said that the emir has added his height and they took him that's what the anointing does where you cannot enter others are entering because they are intelligent others are entering because they have connection when they come they ask you what do you have and then you say God's ability God's ability is working in me is working God's ability God's ability is working in me Listen, they may they can't ignore you for too long it won't be too long somebody will be confused you will be needed immediately it won't be too long somebody will be sick demons are still on earth which guarantees that you remain valuable listen listen for as long as there is a demand for your anointing you remain valuable business tells us until you have something you are unnecessary the anointing keeps you valuable forever. 
stocks can rise and fall oil can rise and fall but the anointing has equal value in every territory God's ability listen when you carry Naira when you carry Naira as soon as you get to London with Naira Naira is no longer valuable is that true you have to change it to another currency when you travel to Israel you have to change the pounds or euro to shekels to be able to use it when you travel to Asia you now have to change it to yen and the rest to use it but the anointing the way it works in Nigeria when you get to UK there is no translation there is no downgrading same sickness same demons same challenges listen rich men fall sick rich men get confused politicians get confused have you seen certain businesses that are only for certain people you only sell pampas for children Abi and an adult who is sick an old man a young man doesn't need pampas are you getting what i'm saying you you only bab somebody like me who always wants his hair low if you want to shine it let it shine this is the way you do it but somebody who keeps his head doesn't need it there are certain things in life that are only for a group of people the anointing is a master capital it is relevant anywhere everywhere and at all times you need it in business you need it in your academics you need it in marriage pursue me students you need it in your pursue me no 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 it's not just by the y the x there is an ability let me tell you early enough there is an ability of the spirit because you can write an exam well and somebody can be marking your exam and your script will fall down there is an anointing that guarantees it remains there are you hearing what i'm saying number one it brings you it makes you greatly desired number two the ability of god gives you favor with men ah. please listen to my message activating seasons of greatness favor with men and it does that in three dimensions it gives you access to people access to resources and access to opportunities these are the three things any man needs to succeed access to people access to resources access to opportunities the anointing brings access not everything is solved by money access is greater than money access 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 hallelujah it's god's ability listen we went benign we went benign recently for a meeting i say these things to encourage you after the meeting some people came in from asaba and they shared a very touching testimony and um, the pastors came in great ministry doing great things for god there when they came in they said this that they believe it to be an angel but they said somebody at a point where the ministry really needed the hand of god somebody just entered with one of our teachings and gave them and left never to see him again never knew him he was just somebody who came and dropped it and left and the pastor said when they listened to it they got all the information and as at the time they were talking to me they said they had over 200 of the messages and it has revolutionized the people there are people today who know me and love this ministry i have never seen them in fact 75 percent of those who get blessed by this ministry who have never set our eyes some of them is just one message is a mystery is a mystery if you think it's ordinary try it just go online and put anything i don't care what just put anything and invite people there is an angel there is an angel of the lord's presence that signifies the word of god and sends it like an envoy hallelujah during my during my birthday i think we had compliments 
from over 16 nations 16 nations of the world that have been blessed by the ministry I've not gone to most of them see that but then it's coming there are people who take these messages by themselves and keep spreading that's their ministry that is like a covenant they signed with God brothers and sisters tonight I want you to give up on your strength outside of God I'm reducing your journey towards destiny you will waste your time for nothing and find out after 70 years that this is not how it works but when the ability of God is upon you it will make you a sign and a wonder you will have unusual access access to things you will not pay for the anointing will pay for things for you unusual access hallelujah and finally the third reward for the ability of the spirit working in you is ever increasing honor honor let me tell you what honor is listen honor is not just recognition honor is the discernment of your uniqueness and the ability to reward it if you are not rewarded for your uniqueness it's not honor you can be recognized but when a man recognizes you and is willing to invest in you that is honor to honor is to esteem you with respect and dignity and that you'll be rewarded for your blessings almost every day of my life there are people blessing me sowing seeds doing all kinds of things I sat down this morning and I was talking to the Lord I said Lord what are you doing to me this is more than I have bargained for as soon as we arrived this evening I just came in and when I came out I was almost sometimes you see me come and sit down and I just put my head down I'm fighting tears many times because I remain humbled at the hand of God the kind of workers that God has given in this ministry I think they, they are even it looks like they believe in the ministry more than me tomorrow is a leaders retreat and Sunday is the workers retreat committed people with their life like madmen you try to coordinate people like that and you see how easy it is of course they are trained of course there are principles but the force of cohesion is the ability of the spirit there is an anointing tonight listen I want everybody hearing the sound of my voice inside and outside you're going to make up your mind tonight and say Lord I'm tired of this inferiority and complex it may not have been your fault to have come from the background you came from but it can change I love my father he's a great man and I see most of the things that happen in my life with him as ignorance but there was a time my father spoke to me and said I was going to become a failure in this life and his prayer is that I fail alone and not bring other people about four years ago my father got down on his knees and asked me to pray for him the anointing of the spirit will make you a desire of nations see forget about the meager criticisms you will receive it's nothing compared to the honor it's one is to one million it is totally negligible believe me this is what i know this is what my hands have handled and i came with this word tonight the anointing of the spirit is an equalizer it can cover for everything that went wrong so you no longer have an excuse no matter what else fails when you are anointed you still remain valuable the anointing does not make the difference the anointing is hear me the anointing does not make the difference the anointing is the difference we are going to pray and tonight I want us to pray because many of us are going to receive there will be a lot of impartations in this place tonight especially for some of us who just came newly don't just come naively open up your heart 
let something fall on your life and change you forever. I have found my servant. Please give us Psalm 89. Verse 20. Psalm 89 verse 20. 89 verse 20. Help us media. It's ability. That's why my secret place. Listen. My secret place remains my greatest asset. Not ministrations. The man of God, Apostle Johnson Suleiman, said something that blessed me one time. Listen. He said he was in the secret place praying and building and planning and something happened. A big man, supposedly a politician, big man, he came and spoke to him and said he wanted to see him and uh, he was with God. One hour he didn't come out. Two hours he didn't come out. Three hours he didn't come out and the wife was already getting embarrassed that how can you leave a big man like this? And they went to knock and one of his daughters went to knock and then he opened the door and she was saying, Daddy, why? Attend to this man, let him go. And he looked at her compassionately and he said, my daughter, sit down. He said, do you know why this man is here? He's here because of what I am doing. He's not here because he likes me. He's here because there is an anointing he needs. He needs direction. He needs a prophetic word. If I stop doing what I'm doing, he will not come back again. Let him wait. That's why my secret place is the greatest. You don't find me gallivanting around. I'm like a herbalist. You don't see me strolling around and then buying orange, peeling it and just moving around. No, because you are gathered here tonight because you love God. It is true. But you have come to hear a man who you consider to be anointed. And the only reason why you will keep coming and listening. And the only reason why nations will keep coming. Is because of this ability. The miracle service is by the corner. There are sick people. HIV. Cancer. All kinds of oppressed people. In this place right now. There are families that have traveled kilometers to come. And they are trusting God for a touch. And so, the greatest publicity of a believer, men of God, get this, is the secret place. That's the place you receive strength. That's the place you receive innovation. That is where you receive wisdom. It says, I have found David my servant. And with my holy oil, I smeared him with oil that activated an ability let's look at the next three verses 21 with whom my hand shall be established my arm shall also strengthen him the enemy shall not exact upon him nor the son of wickedness afflict him i will beat down his foes before his face and plague them that hate him 24 but my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him and in my name shall his horn be exalted he said thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side listen my prayer is that the least among us here will be as great as david but you know if you take it from the standpoint of intelligence there are people who are a thousand times more intelligent than you your advantage in the kingdom is the backing of the spirit Please listen. If you keep me side by side with brilliant people, I may not have too much to say. If you keep me side by side with intellectuals, I may have something to say, but maybe not much. If you keep me around older people, they have experience. I may only have little to say. If you keep me around people, the world is full of cynical people. Even if I want to bless them, they will not believe in me. Either because I'm not their tribe or because of certain parameters. So my bailout is the anointing. I guard the anointing upon my life jealously. I can lose everything but not his presence and the anointing that it brings. It says, but my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him and in my name shall his horns. Listen. 
God can exalt the horn of a man. God spoke to us that this is the season of the rain. And the rain is already falling. I tell you, people's stories are changing. God is taking people to newer levels of wealth. Newer levels of the anointing. Newer levels of the spirit. Inside and outside. Some of you are standing. There are no seats standing by the fence. Listen. You are face to face with destiny. It's not by might. It's not by power. But it's by my spirit. If you've never believed in the ability of God in you, I want you to believe. Hallelujah. That's our confidence. You have won the victory. That's why we make our boast all day long. Hallelujah. He's won it all for you. You have won it all for me. Sing it one more time with faith in your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, he won the victory. Hallelujah. your life when you desire a miracle when you desire a breakthrough in your life the first way into that miracle is an encounter with the word of God every true miracle every true breakthrough every true blessing begins with an encounter listen to me please pay attention to what I'm teaching you you've been suffering for too long pay attention pay attention and get out of this thing there is a way out others are testifying you are the only one who is left pay attention and get out of this thing once and for all there is a way of escape there is a way of escape the bible says the labor of the fool where yet every one of, of them because they do not know the road to the city not because there is no road there is there is your prayer point is already somebody's testimony. It means God is able. Hallelujah. If God has changed SS to AA and you are here seated with SS, is, is it such a big deal? Is it such a big deal? Or a job? Beyond your wildest imagination. So pay attention. An encounter with the word of God is the starting point of any miracle and now I, I will explain to you when we talk of an encounter with the word of god we are not just saying you read your bible because you've been reading it for a long time we're not just talking of um reading your bible and and looking at it wow i found this no an encounter means something happens to you there is a light that leaves that word the ministry of the word of God is the first way out of any predicament in life. Please get me. The ministry of the word of God. There are some of us here right now we are trusting God for jobs. And I know that if all of a sudden I announce now and I say our daddy prof is in this place, there are some of our, our fathers scattered around, great influential men our fathers, our mothers, people who with one call can give you a job. I say all those who want jobs, come and stand here. You greet daddy. Many of you will already be jumping. You say, I God bless Koinonia. But, but do you know, do you know, do you know, do you know that I told you about the Illuminati and the secret societies, right? By the privileged position of being called into an apostolic ministry, it affords me the opportunity to study other religions and study a lot of false activities of darkness. Not necessarily to pervert my faith, but so that I can bring the body of Christ into accuracy. Look up, please. Don't let any man fool you. I was teaching someone today. I think it was Pastor Femi. Listen, 
everyone successful person who has been empowered by the devil please listen to me everybody who has been empowered by the devil had an encounter with something that represented him are you getting my point i shared with you about the 2300 ancient manuscript that they found that it had magical powers upon it that if you only took that book and just read the title alone fortunes will begin to follow you there are people on earth today with those evidences those secret societies recruit people they select people specially every year and it's by divination they select them so when they select you they get across to you you will not know how but they will call you they'll say you have hereby been invited your life is about to change they don't ask you whether you believe them or not they give you access to read some of those materials you step out immediately and you will see calls coming alerts coming opportunities look at me if you ever think prosperity is just about job or business you are joking there is a spiritual agency that makes things work in the natural are you getting what i'm saying this this is what this is what i've been crying about for years that the body of christ get it's not just about physical things there is a spiritual factor that make things work is somebody learning something an encounter with the word releases something People just read a book, right? And something comes upon them they cannot explain. All of a sudden, they come out and you are drawn to withdraw money and give them. Just like that. All of a sudden, you stand up and begin to advocate their case. What, what sort of life is that? Look, they that know their God, they are the ones who will be strong. It's not about age. Listen, it's not, it's not even entirely just about education and I have a great deal for academia and, and all of that but let me tell you there is a reality that predates our existence and if you do not know it you will be a victim in this life Psalm 82 from verse 5 the Bible says they know not neither will they understand I have spent my life studying the laws of the spirit I have literally committed my life to explore these ancient mysteries what was the secret of ancient men what made them mighty what made them great and i found out that every mighty man then and now stands upon a spiritual advantage there is a pedestal in the spirit that sponsors their audacity is someone hearing what i'm saying you don't just tell somebody be healed and he gets healed brothers and sisters human beings are not idiots are you hearing what i'm saying i can't just look at this lady and say your story will change and then it changes come on i prophesied as i was commanded i prophesied as i was commanded see this is the dynamics of miracles i'm explaining to you the inner workings of the miraculous it happens because all that you see is not all that there is this realm is a three-dimensional realm physics tells us and is limited the realm of the spirit has other dimensions meaning there are other possibilities beyond the scope of our intellect are you getting what i'm saying yes this is the realm of wisdom that kings reign by he said by me kings reign and princes decree justice he said, with me are riches, wealth, and honor. Yea, durable riches and righteousness. Tonight, it's not just for you to receive a miracle, but to empower you. That when you make a statement, there is an understanding that forces that statement to come to pass. Hallelujah. When you talk to people about finances, the first idea that comes to their mind is business is that not true what business okay real estate okay stocks okay this and that i've said it again and again again and again that 
I don't care what business you do or what job you are having. You will struggle forever until there is a spiritual factor that is at work. Are you getting me? Yes. The Bible says you have an unction from the Holy One. He said that unction can teach you. Isaiah 48 from verse 17. It says, I am the Lord thy God that teacheth thee to profit and lead you in the way that you should go. There is an anointing. This heat and run trial and error life must end tonight. We can walk circumspectly on the strength. Listen, you can be 70 years old and have an error about life for that long. Are you getting me? A whole nation can be wrong. Our society, we transfer knowledge upon the strength of what we know or what we have been told. When man ran away from God, he said, Adam, where are thou? Genesis 3. He says, the Lord had the talking spirit, the voice of God walking in the cool of the day. And he said, Adam, where are thou? He said, I heard thy voice, but I hid because I was naked. He said, who told you? Meaning your life is a summation of the informations you have gotten and you have believed. But could it be that what you have held as truth all your life may not necessarily be accurate taught by well-meaning people there is the life of the kingdom and there is the life of this world system cosmos we are not the same it says you are in the world but you are not of the world there is a plane of reality you must function for hallelujah So number one, an encounter with the word. You need an encounter with the word. The word of God does three things among many other things. Please write. Number one, the word of God shows you the basis upon which you will receive any promise. The word of God shows you the basis. The realm of the spirit is a legal realm. Everybody say legal realm. So, you don't just, you can play crooks in the earth realm here, but not in the realm of the spirit. Everything is done legally and legitimately. If you ever see anything manifest itself, certain laws were applied. Praise the Lord. So, the word of God shows you the basis. Remember in our, our series, uh, the teaching, Give Me This Mountain. I teach about the spiritual dimension of life. That there are gates on every mountain. Everybody say there are gates on every mountain. When you get to that mountain of breakthrough, there are gates. It will not just open because you are a Christian. When Jesus in Psalm 24 was about to come out from the grave, the Bible says there were gates. The psalmist saw it. He said, lift up your head, O ye gates. And be lifted, O ye ancient doors. Did they open? No, sir. They asked a question. Who is this king of glory? Give us the basis of your audacity. Upon what are you standing? And he says, he is the Lord, strong and mighty. The one who just defeated darkness. And the gates open. So when you stand to receive the miracle, Oh God, change my story from SS to AA. There will be a question in the spirit. Upon what strength? That's the parable that Jesus was giving. The parable, right, of two men who built houses. One upon sand, the other upon a rock. Two houses were built, but what supported them became the distinguishing factor. Praise the Lord. The basis. It's important for you to know the basis. Let me tell you very straight and uh, in, a, in a way that does not require any confusion. Everybody writes, the finished work of Christ. This is the basis. This is the reason. It is the one master factor. The finished work of Christ. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. Many of us need to meditate on what he really did for us. Do you know that it is on the strength of what happened on the cross? The way, access, the veil has been torn and it's given us access. Access. Revelations 5. 
Revelation 5. Verse 9. Very quickly. Please let's hurry up so that we can do much tonight. Revelation 5. And they sang a new song saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. It says, For thou wast slain and you have redeemed us unto God. How? By thy blood. That's the basis. The substitutionary work of Christ. I told you, you can get our teaching the speaking blood. I told you blood is a key in the spirit. Is that true? Blood is a key in the spirit. Everybody's blood can open certain doors, but not every door. That's why when you go to a herbalist, he will, he will calculate by divination and tell you the kind of blood that will open the gate you want. So the blood of Jesus is the greatest because it is the master key. There is no door that it cannot open. It says, out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation, verse 10. It says, and has made us unto our God kings and priests. And as a result, we shall reign. Everybody say dominion. He has given us access to dominion access to dominion praise the lord so when you study the word of god it gives you the basis so when you stand and say i'm tired of this cancer or i'm tired of this barrenness it's been five years i've not been able to take in the realm of the spirit will ask you so upon what now do you believe you will take in and you tell them there is a key that has opened that door there is a key. The blood of the eternal covenant. Hallelujah. Everybody say the blood of Jesus. Is my access. To my inheritance. One more time. Say the blood of Jesus. Is my access. To my inheritance. You are not just saying it after me. You are confessing. Say the blood of Jesus. Is my access. To my inheritance hallelujah that's the reason why you get married that's the reason why the devil must live tonight that's the reason why the genotype must change that's the reason why every prophetic word that comes upon you must produce result that's the reason why as many of you standing outside although you are far but the ministry of that blood can still speak hallelujah i believe in the power of the blood of jesus not just because preachers said the blood is powerful. I have a revelation of the significance of the blood. Revelation is powerful. It produces true faith in your spirit. So that you are not believing blindly. You are believing upon the strength of an understanding. So the blood of Jesus is your basis for receiving breakthrough. And when we stand up to pray and we begin to challenge the gates of hell, you don't stand weak and you are wondering and say, do you know nobody in my family has crossed this barrier? You say, well, I couldn't cross it, but that blood created a divide and I must walk past it. Look, let me tell you. The Bible says, let me show you something. Isaiah, Isaiah, Isaiah. Let's look at Isaiah. Isaiah, help me Holy Spirit. Isaiah 41 verse 21. I saw this scripture in 2004 and it changed my life. Isaiah 41 21. Everybody read. One to read. Look, God is speaking like a judge in a law court. Are you getting me? He said, produce your cause. He said, bring forth your strong reason. Give me a scriptural basis to bless you. Justify your qualification to step into a new level. You don't say that just by jacking yourself. You lift up the blood and say, this is my basis. This is my basis. Upon the strength of what your son did, he has given me access to health. He has given me access to the blessing of the Lord. Praise God. Number two. 
an encounter with the word of God brings you to agree with God it brings you to agree with God we call that listen we call that alignment and transformation alignment and transformation somebody come please look for that scripture for me with God all things are possible right somebody come anybody watch this an encounter with the word of God remember I told you in our teaching yes um, last week right the reality of what spiritual laws I told you that no man can activate any law by himself is that true a spirit entity either the Holy Spirit or another spirit must work with you so in the realm of the spirit partnership is the order of things you cannot do anything alone either a demon spirit or the spirit of God must assist you so the Bible says you are yet to find it Matthew Matthew 19 26 media are you getting my point now the problem with many people is that we are far apart this is where God is standing this is God's mindset right he says as far as the heavens are above the earth so are my thoughts my ways is that true so this is God standing and he's saying come and join me but she's standing here and saying Lord I need you to help me and God is saying it's against the law you have to find come I supply grace you take advantage of that grace and come when we are together so the Bible says with God come with God all things become possible so without God nothing becomes possible so that cancer with God becomes possible you see that are you getting my point that admission with God the Bible says with God so koinonia miracle service with God will produce result the, 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 this is the mystery this is the mystery of impact with God Acts 10 38 how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power the Bible says he went about doing good and healing all they that were oppressed why for God was with the Bible says and the Lord walking with them this is the mystery divine assistance coming into god's realm you no longer become an enemy of your own destiny and we call that alignment and transformation that's one of the major ministries of the word so the word of god begins to advocate a superior mindset higher and greater than the ideology you've held on to it may be cultural it may be intellectual right it may be societal but when the word of God begins to judge you, it shows you the excellency of God's own mindset. And it's up to you to say, Lord, although this is all I've believed my, all my life. For instance, there are people who are here with certain terminal diseases and they have been told, they've lived all their lives believing. They didn't even come for the miracle service for that specific case to be healed. They came for something else. Right? Because according to their mind, it has not yet become a possibility that God can address that issue. But when he looked at the tomb where Lazarus had been buried, he said, roll away the stone. Proof that I can raise Lazarus back by you going to open up that case that you have closed. Praise the Lord. I believe God. I'm a believer. I truly believe him. Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. It says, Lean not on your own understanding. The next verse says, In all your ways, not some. It didn't say, Talk to him. It says, Acknowledge him. You acknowledge a man by giving him preference. It says, And as a result, he will direct your path. Next verse says, Be not wise in your own understanding. It says, Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Hallelujah very important so with god this lady may be weak unable to do anything but with god with god 
she may be broke suffering nothing is working but all of a sudden she comes and she finds out that there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. There is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty. She begins to learn the ways of God that he can open up the heavens. That it is the blessing of the Lord. Not your business. It is the blessing. The blessing makes everything you do prosper. That's why it says whatsoever he doeth prospers. So it's not about what you are doing. It's about the spiritual factor that supports what you are doing. So, with God, with God, she suddenly becomes powerful. All of a sudden, doors of favor open up to her because she has chosen to leave her old mindset and come to God. Listen to me, tonight, the first miracle you need to have is to give up on your ideologies and say, Lord, I'm tired. Because your life is a reflection of your ideologies. I don't care what the situation is. I told us last week that your environment will eventually become a reflection of what? Your belief system and your ideology. He said, let this mind, Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5, let this mind, the word let there is permit. Permit this mind. Please, I know that you came from Kaduna State and Kaduna State, there may be a way you thought about in your village. I know that you came from from the east and there is a way that they thought i know that you come from the west i know that you come from katsina tonight will you choose to become a citizen of the kingdom by adopting the ideologies of the king subscribe to a new government every government has an economic system every government has a political system every government has a welfare system if you've been evil, know how to give good gifts to your children. How much more shall your heavenly father? But that law is only operational for the sons of the kingdom. Hallelujah. The word of God brings you into alignment. Listen, when I begin to study the word of God, or when she begins to study the word of God, and she finds out that there is an ideology that she has that fights against the word of God, you will be foolish to argue with the word of God. The word of God predates our existence. It has been tried through dispensations. The word of God is a description of his character. His operation with man. And I told you that the efficacy of the word transcends Genesis 1. It's beyond that. It predates Genesis 1. I told you Genesis 1 is not the first creation. We've, we've settled that, right? Job 38. Those of you who are just coming. This is going on here. Get the series. Hallelujah. There, there is a lot of creation. Genesis 1, uh, Isaiah 38 begins to give us how the foundation of the earth was created. Praise the Lord. The question I'm asking you is, I know you want God to bless you, but could it be that the devil that needs to go out today is not the one in your village? It's the one that has stayed in your mind like a stronghold. The Bible says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God. To what? The pulling down of strongholds, casting down every yazar, imagination, and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ, and bringing every thought to the obedience of Christ. Praise the Lord. So we have been given a poverty mentality as Africa. We have been taught that until you are 25 or 30, don't think about finances, don't think about blessing, don't think about empowerment. And you are told that you are too young to carry the power of God, or you are a lady, you shouldn't carry the power of God. These are the ideologies that cosmos markets to us, but you must refuse it. Say, I refuse. Shout it, I refuse. I refuse. Mm. You must refuse it. You must refuse it. Who told you you were naked? Who told you you were naked? I honor the doctors, but do you know that there are many people who, are, who have several sicknesses, but it never affects them because they do not have a medical report to validate it. You went to check headache. They said, my brother, this thing is more than headache. You mean you would have died now? We have a lot of doctors here. Doctors, I love you. Praise the Lord. But now when you check and they tell you, huh, 
do you know that your liver is almost in fact you say you you mean it hi from that time your liver starts paining you physically right and then the doctor tells you you have two weeks to live all of a sudden somebody says there's an opportunity god is lifting us they let him lift you there i'm dying i believe the report of the lord i believe the report of the lord. see listen you don't see with your eyes you see through your eyes there is a spiritual agency for sight. You only see through these physical eyes. It's not what you see with. They are just the physical components that enable your true spiritual eye to see. And Paul prayed that that eyes be flooded with light. Praise the Lord. So we need alignment. That's why you can pray for people pray for them lay hands on them do whatever you want to do did you know that sometimes you finish praying and then the people walk right back because their mindset betrays what god wants to do in their lives that's what happened to the nation of israel right everything you have told moses we will do oh, after two weeks they say kai a, a delegation comes and they say moses we, we need an explanation and bring Baal, make something for us that we can see. This mysterious God who comes with smoke, we don't know this one. Please, make something we know. They limited God in the wilderness. A man's mindset can limit God as mighty as he is. I refuse to limit you. I refuse. Number three. The word of God, an encounter with the word of God shows you your part of the deal. It shows you the part you have to play to commit God to a performance. Never forget this. There is a part that you have to play, brothers and sisters. Every promise in scripture requires a partnership on your own part. Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1. It says, if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord to do and observe all that I command thee this day. Right? And then it talks about um, you being exalted above all the nations and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. If there is a condition. Isaiah 119. If ye be willing and obedient, you will eat the good of your, the land. Not if ye be hungry and desperate. If ye be what? Willing. There is a condition. There is a condition. There are always conditions. So an encounter with the word reveals to me my part of God's prosperity package. Lord, you want to bless me. What is my role? Right? I want to step into levels of the anointing. The word of God shows me. Is, see, reading the word is like walking in your promised land. He says, walk left and right. See everything as far as your eyes have seen. So, you read, studying the word of God is like touring your promised land. And you come back and say, Lord, as I read, I found this and that. And God says, all right, here's the condition. Everything is yours for a taking. You can enter a restaurant. Immediately you enter the restaurant, you see a lap of an agri chicken and you start smiling. But you came there with 100 naira. There is a condition. You want to be a possessor. You want to make that thing become a present reality. There is a price tag. Nobody stops you. There's no policeman to stop you. But you can watch it like a museum. And salivate. And watch. Right? And nothing happens. You may be 30 years. But a little baby will come with his father. And he say, mommy, I like this. And whatever he likes, keep giving it to him. The container did not refuse to open. Your part. I know you are laughing because I spoke about food, but get the revelation because the issue in your life is more than food. Praise God. Oh God, change my story. God says, come let me show you your part of the deal. He said, God, I don't want you. You have died for me. Mm -mm. Listen, listen, listen. Making the word of God work in your life 
making that which he has done to work in your life will require a participation on your own part. Please understand this. Praise the Lord. Are we following? So these three things. Tonight, as you are seated here, there are some of us, the reason why certain levels of breakthrough have not come into our lives is because we have not been able to support our claims in prayer with a basis. You have, you have always every power challenging me. You better leave. Because of what? Why should they leave? Do you know what brought them in the first place? They were there before you were born. So I came to Koinonia. Every demon, I'm tired of you. And that's not what drives them. You, you don't, they don't go because you are tired. 38 years, that man was lying down at a pool. That wicked spirit did not say, Kai, 37, 38. Oh yeah, let me allow you. You have tried. You would have remained there forever. In five minutes. Five minutes. Meaning time does not change anything. Light is what changes things. It will change tomorrow. You are wasting your time. Arise and shine. Not because you are tired of sitting. Isaiah 64. Thy light is come. Hmm. Are you getting blessed? So there are some of us here. What you need is to understand a revelation of what Jesus Christ has done. You think the reason why you may get everything is because you are bold or because you are praying. It's not that. There is a revelation. The blood of Jesus. For years I heard Ren had Bonke talk about the blood of Jesus so much. He, he equated blood and fire. And I didn't, I couldn't quite get it. Until I found out that blood was a key in the spirit. That's why every religion has blood as part of their component. This is the one factor that every religion agrees upon. Blood. Hallelujah. And there are some of us here. The problem is our mindset. God wants to bless us. He wants to lift us. But there is a mindset. Oh, I'm a lady. Oh, I'm coming from so, so and so. I cannot even speak English. Oh, this and that and that and that. I've not even gotten admission. Or, oh, me, I just want a little this. Oh, I made that and that. Huh? Or, God, I want you to bless me, but it must happen through NMPC. If you are Lord, it must happen through NMPC. They limited God. You're asking God for a cup and he wants to give you an ocean. Hallelujah. That's the problem with the body of Christ. Our faith is what I call auxiliary faith. Faith that is standing on something. Tied to the neck of your uncle. So every time you say, Lord, bless me, what you mean is press that uncle's neck until he responds to me. Your faith is not really standing upon the word of God. Your faith, every time you say, Lord, I, 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 I know you are changing my story. What you are simply saying, oh Lord, I know my uncle will not sleep until my... No, no, no. Why don't you give him the option to bring the strategy? And you say, Lord, I don't care how it will be done. I may not see wind. I may not see rain. But one thing I know, because let me tell you, your strategy is most of the time carnal, but his strategy becomes spiritual. When he gives you a strategy, it may look foolish, but that's the way he has chosen it. Right? Go around Jericho. That's the strategy. Oh, I'm already ahead of myself. The second way to receive a miracle, or the second platform now, first is an encounter with the word of God. Second is the ministry of prayer. The ministry of prayer is part of the equation to receiving a miracle. There must be the ministry of prayer. It does two things. Number one, prayer challenges the forces of darkness fighting against the manifestation of the promise in your life. Ephesians 6 verse 12. The Bible clearly tells us that we are not alone in this world. We have strangers who are trying to escort us every day, every time. Wicked spirits stratified in different cadres, right? So you are always not alone. The devil attempts to seek entrance into different dimensions of your life. And given the opportunity, he will wreck your life. The goal, to mock the testimony of God in your life. Praise the Lord. So there are giants on every mountain. Please don't let anybody fool you. There are giants on every mountain. If you get into a mountain and the door is already open, somebody already killed the giants. But there were giants there. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. 
the stratification of the demonic kingdom. So between you and your breakthrough, there are giants. It takes the ministry of prayer. Hallelujah. When you pray, you authorize heaven to look into your situation. Because God is not committed to step into your situation without your asking him to. Genesis 1.26 From the day he said, let them have dominion. But God is supposed to know now, doesn't he love me? Well, it will not change. The bones kept staring at Ezekiel until something happened. Praise the Lord. You come for miracle service and you find out that as the word is coming like this, there are still people seated, oppressed of demons. Right? Some of these demons are hearing what I'm saying now. They are just shaking, but they are not going yet. Let's see if we will go. Must we really go? Yes. By the time we begin to pray, we activate the energy, the force. Right? It's a force of compliance. It brings everything to the obedience of Christ. So that's why you need to pray. You pray to command the forces of darkness that are stopping your access to bow. Number two, this is an even greater reason why we pray. Prayer reveals the exact and the unique strategy to bring the promise to manifestation. Please never forget this. When you pray in the place of prayer, God reveals to you his unique strategy for you. So you have walked through scripture and you have seen that God has told you that you are to walk in breakthrough. But now, the Bible may not give you the nitty gritty of what to do in your unique situation. Prayer. When you begin to pray, the Spirit of God begins to search the mind of God concerning your situation. And the Bible says how that he searches all things and he prays according to the will of God. So you begin to pray and then the Lord tells you, okay, now this is the strategy. You are going to meet Benga. Benga will introduce you to Femi. And Femi will introduce you to Prof. That's how the miracle will come. It is a strategy for only you. Somebody will do it and fail. Are you seeing why prayer is powerful? This is, this is, am I blessing you? In my opinion, I think this is already a miracle for somebody. I'm showing you the loopholes. Some of us have seen the promise. You have agreed with God. But the problem is the strategy. Kalabaka. In ancient times, kings won war not on the strength of their army, but the dexterity of their strategy. Strategy, strategy, strategy. So Joshua stood still and God began to give him the strategy. He said, Joshua, this is how we we'll throw this wall down. Walk around seven times. Did you ever see that repeated in the Bible? Because it was a strategy. Right? He told Gideon, take the people by the riverside and let them take water study the way they take water you will use it as a separation strategy somebody has come tonight to receive strategy lord how do i complete this house you calculated your salary based on your salary to take 10 years and god says i can show you a strategy the bible says then was the secret revealed unto daniel a wicked king slept in the night, dreamt and forgot it and was going to punish people for his forgetfulness. Right? And a man called Daniel. One of the greatest prayers that I've been praying in this season is Lord's strategy. It, it's all about strategy, I'm telling you. God will show you something that does not make sense, but is his strategy for you. Everyone will do it and fail, but it's what you will do. Hallelujah. So you look at that business and you are praying and God will say, uh -uh, my strategy for you is take that business out of where you are. Take it to another place. Isaac already knew he had the blessing upon him, but he needed a strategy. Right? That's why every time kings would fight, they would go and inquire, what is the strategy for this war? They will not use yesterday's strategy for today's war. They will fail woefully. And so they will go, should I pursue? And the Lord will say, this is how it will happen. Like in the days of Jehoshaphat. Put worshippers in front. Other times he said, walk around seven times. Other times he said, just be still. Get a stone and sit down and watch what I will do. Strategy. Question. The strategy you are using for your life now, who gave you? 
I saw another man do it, you see. He just went and started selling tomato. You see, God said he will bless you. But what drove you into it? A man must work. Don't stop those kind of demonic thinking. There must be a strategy. Oh Lord, change my story. I think I'll start selling shoes. Just like that. Just like that. The Bible says, as they began to pray, the Holy Ghost said, separate me Paul and Barnabas. If they were to choose, they would have carried somebody else. Right now, when we begin to pray, I am convinced that God will begin to reveal strategies for people. Mm. Strategies on how to make the rain work. Some of you, listen, students, there are students here that all you need is one strategy. There is a course, everybody has told you this course, and you are face to face with that Goliath. You've been running away, but right, you are there now. You need a strategy. Hallelujah. There are some of you, maybe your project, a supervisor may be difficult, and God can give you a strategy. The strategy may not necessarily be a direct revelation from the spirit. It can be light. A one scripture imprints in your spirit as you are praying. Oh God, what do I do about this, my supervisor? Suddenly a scripture comes. The gift of a man makes room. You quickly go and package wine. Not to bribe the man. You are responding to a strategy. Ordinarily, he would have thrown you out with your wine. But because you are doing it as a strategy will laugh and say why did you have to do that what is even your name you have been disturbing me it's a strategy mm. Lord, give me strategy. you will see men do foolish things that don't make sense that's what God told us when when we wanted to start giving access to our messages I went to the Lord and the Lord told me he said make sure you do not send any message keep the videos give out the mp3s that's the strategy right you may do it for your ministry and you will lose a lot of money. The blessing God has tied for your ministry, you would, but, but it is a strategy. It's a strategy. When I said, Lord, what is the key to the publicity and the increase and the expansion of this ministry in terms of membership? God gave me a strategy. It's not a secret. Mark 1, 2, 3. You may apply it and it may not work for you, but that's what the Lord gave. And this is the mystery behind what you see. I like you as you are seated before we stand up to pray in one minute speak to the lord what is the strategy lord my family has been struggling over this issue for years every time they want to build there is no money what is the strategy please take what i'm saying seriously one strategy can change your situation not just a strategy you read from a book one strategy there is an easier way of doing it that you have not seen it does not mean it's not there why we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen for the things that are seen are temporal in 24 hours by the strategy of the spirit he gave victory please pray god has shown you your destiny helper but he's not paying attention to you one strategy will answer the question. Pray. God has shown you the business he wants you to do. But as it is, you try and try. You need strategy. It's not like you didn't hear God. The ministry of prayer. You have been reading and reading. You did well in 100 level. 200 level. By 300 level, you started moving back. Because you need to change strategy. You need to go to his majesty. To show you. Strategy. 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 Please pray. For your ministry. Sister. You don't need all the money you think you need. What you need is a strategy from the spirit. Believe me. You have tried every idea you know. You have tried everything they have told you. Why don't you cry before God? Come on now, pray. Koinonia. Reveal unto me the strategy. My family is suffering. There is witchcraft in my family. They have vowed, but my father will not listen. 
what is the strategy for the deliverance of my family everybody in my family is an unbeliever but i've seen in visions and dreams that they will all be saved between the promise and the manifestation what is the strategy lord i've applied for job everywhere civil defense immigration everywhere what is the strategy hallelujah strategy the last thing i'll talk about when we stand up we're going to do a quick walk very very quick walk the last step towards the manifestation of a miracle is that you must take action take action i want everybody to listen to me carefully because god is about to speak to us in a very definite way now i hope you have been blessed so far take action there are two enemies of action that are found from scripture number one fear fear everybody say fear fear is a dangerous and wicked spirit there are multi-millionaires sitting listening to me now but fear has stopped them from taking action there are many families you would have finished building your house since not just a bungalow that will kill you there are people seated here if you took the step god told you last year you would have been feeding your family this year fear tonight i'm showing you all the things that there is work to do tonight are you getting my point everybody shout i reject fear oh fear does not respect age children fear adults fear great men fear macho men fear intelligent people fear right now africa is afraid nigeria is afraid many people are afraid the dollar is crashing everybody is afraid you don't know what to do right there's fear everywhere when the devil when god tells you get up and build the house this year that house must be built and all you have is hundred thousand and you calculate and you find out that the building will cost seven million and you are laughing you say god don't disgrace me let the people in the village not say i'm stupid take action listen the bible says this sign shall follow not go before you will never see the hand of god till you stand up and move this is somebody's this is a word from god to someone you have refused to move fear you wrote jam nine times you didn't get it god is saying this time you will get it you say, i'm not ready i better go to the restaurant and eat food with that money see that fear are we getting blessed let's look at two scriptures second timothy 1 verse 7 take it high, please. second timothy 1 verse 7 please help us media let's really hurry up we have to hurry up because we have some prayer to do are you seeing the things that are limiting us truly i am determined this year to see that every one of us has a testimony if nothing changes in your life this year then it's your fault but as far as the principles that will guarantee for you to experience the rain by the grace of god i will do my best for god had not given us the spirit of fear put your name there just that first clause one to read one more time praise the lord there are many of our loved ones 45 years brother are you ready to get out of your father's house i preached a message in 2008 it was a classic come out of your father's house thought provoking message to challenge people to leave their comfort zone there are some of us 30 35 40 we are still a big liability to our parents at home. Or God come out to say, what I have now is 20,000. Come out. You have prayed, you have fasted, you have sown seeds, you are giving. Look, let me tell you, if I am a father, my, when my child gets to a certain age, one day, you will just come and say, young man, in the name of Jesus, I release the blessing upon you. Go out. Out. That's it. I'm, I'm very serious. See, you need to push yourself out of your comfort zone this year it's not just to say it's the year of the rain 
Stand up and take action. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Change, change what you have been doing. Kill fear. Take action and die doing it. Queen Esther, God took her to the palace. God removed Vashti and brought her for the salvation of Israel. But when Mordecai spoke to her, her man is plotting against these people. You better go and meet the king. She said, ah, please, oh, me too. He's, he's, he's bring, they brought me here. Please, I'm not ready to face any embarrassment. And Mordecai said, sit down there in fear. Paraphrasing. Sit down there. When they finish with us, the Jews, they will now say, all of you in this palace, bring your bio data. And they will find out you are a Jew too and they will kill you. And she said, if I perish, I perish. This is the year some of us are going to say, if I, I'm writing that jam again. Is God speaking to somebody? I'm writing that jam again. This is the year. But I tried the business, I failed. You will do it again this year. Master, we have cast, he said, we have cast the net of, how do you put it now? Right? We have toiled all night. He said, nevertheless, I die. I was going to get married. The best even did introduction. Later he called and he said he's not doing it again. And now one godly brother is saying, I'm serious. He said, you look like that guy. Stand up and take action. Otherwise you'll sit down and not get married all your life. In the name of Jesus, you will take action this year. Praise the Lord. There are some of us, God is speaking. Fear. Fear. Do you know fear puts people in bondage? more people die there are many sicknesses today that are as a result of fear and worry is that true what you are afraid of has not happened but you are you are almost dying from today now people have started running out of zaria for instance you can go if you want to go what I, <laughs> of course i'm not teaching you to be careless and just roam around but, but oh, come on now people fear everything you are sleeping in the night. You just light. Maybe it's the cloth you hung that just tilted in a way. Say, I, I don't like the way this cloth. Why is it tilting and coming back? Who is there? <laughs> Fear. Fear has made people to say yes when they would have said no. And they committed themselves into things you have no business committing yourself. Fear. One of my friend's father. Listen, true story. One of my friend's father, they would have been the earliest people to start pure water business in Nigeria. When God gave him that idea, it was in a full gospel businessmen's fellowship. Right? The idea came and he laughed. Thai water. Haba. Who will pay for water? Are we idiots? There is stream. There is sun. There is light. There is stove to warm water. And he refused to take action. And certain people took action. Do you think those who took the action are, are crying now? this year you must take a handkerchief as you are crying be moving are you getting my point you must challenge that devil you have not broken through certain barriers nobody has ever crossed to the university in your family now you finish secondary school for instance and you're about to take that step and, and everybody said just you have tried you got diploma in, in, in software application are you not okay you are ahead yet every time you sleep you see a PhD and the devil is telling you, you cannot move tonight we have come to call that devil a liar in the name of jesus christ say i will take action say i will take action that's right the second thing that stops action is laziness everybody say laziness my goodness our time is gone laziness very important proverbs chapter 10 verse 4 please proverbs 10 verse 4 and then later on, we'll look at Proverbs 22, verse 13. Media, please don't forget. Proverbs 10, verse 4. There are some of us, the demon that needs to fly out of our life today, not jump out, fly out and never return, is that spirit of laziness, that inertia to move forward. Some of us, sheer laziness. The Bible says, He become poor that dealeth with what? You never stay around me and you become lazy. I have zero tolerance for lazy people. A young man of 30 years, 
by 11 30 12 he's still snoring on the bed you will beg for bread for sure there is no amount of fasting that will change that if you don't change it there are many lazy people we like a wolf free things look let me tell you there is a place for diligence if you must see the rain fall upon you this year are we getting blessed he become a poor that deals with a slack hand but the hand of the diligent does what there are some of you you are experts at begging day and night you beg everybody right please bros i beg you get 5k help me next time sister sorry i'm just knowing you don't be embarrassed i need 2k you you degrade yourself because of this devilish attitude of laziness there are grasses in people's houses to go and weed there are things to do but you get up and believe you're a big boy big boy with nothing in your pocket you calm down don't try to look successful pay the price and be successful hallelujah are you getting blessed you must reject laziness there are some students you see how some students live you think you think that they are professors right 10 or 11 exams is in one week and you see the person just strolling with his boxers go and fetch a, 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 a bucket of water lazily he cannot even wait at the tap he will turn somebody else's water drag himself to the bathroom come out 30 minutes later Huh? dirty boxers dirty singlets you can't wash it laziness all around you can't get up and sweep your room and some of our sisters are like that who do you want to marry tall dark and handsome he must be a millionaire you think god doesn't have sense he said do not be deceived god cannot be mocked whatsoever a man sows there are many people see look let me tell you sometimes you may see me you see some of the things we are doing and you just don't be deceived by this this ever water if you want it come and carry it there is it there is more than this are you getting my point first thing tomorrow morning we are leaving for katsina it takes work it's not just anointing it takes diligence please you need to talk to yourself and say this year the spirit of laziness i curse you out of my life curse you out an assignment you can do now you sit down and say i will do it on wednesday you get zero right another assignment you get zero they just they they solve the question in class they say just copy it and get 10 marks say i will do it later on. look procrastination you must attack it this year hallelujah you are working in the office of your boss because you think you come for koinonia and the person you are working for is here it's no guarantee to be lazy i will fire you i employ you you are not doing what i employ in the name of jesus i will fire you and you will come back and you will hear me preach absolutely absolutely there is truly no food for a lazy man let me tell you the truth you must get up and and be serious about your destiny and work there are some of us this year you have no business with relationship if you are passing and you see any beautiful lady just say blood of jesus and pass because this year is a year to you your own reign is coming to give you grace to stand up no responsible parent will give a daughter to somebody who doesn't know where he's going are you hearing what i'm saying very important but i believe that as we contend tonight in this miracle service it's going to be a very fast walk for me i think this this is it happening to you if if we close right now i believe that you would have left with something many of us here belong to this category this laziness category right because social media facebook twitter has and and, and bbm has massaged our life of laziness something you can get up and do you see a lot of people just to walk from one place to the other you are taking a bike huh? laziness it's not like you're in a hurry for anything you just load your phone and sit down in the afternoon you are not working you are not doing anything you're a liability to everybody around you 
and you are just you are you are sending yarrow boys as a student for instance to go and buy you mr biggs four five thousand they bring everything you lie down with phone that you forced out of your father or mother and you are making calls in the daytime even a worker is not doing that you ping your life out and the person you are pinging is in the office making money you are there struggling the day you call him he stops responding to you please don't be a liability to anybody this year whoever has been ignoring you is because you are becoming a pest rise up and begin to be hard working and you will become friends again are you hearing what i'm saying especially for the brothers brothers say amen. amen let me talk to you for one minute before we start praying this year please please something must change there are some people sir five years six years no job not because they they have never taken their cv anywhere um, but my uncle said it now that uncle said it's wicked you came to stay in your friend's house when you stayed in his house he was a student he graduated served and is working you are still staying in his house he has gotten a job you are still staying in his house whoever that friend is drive that person out after miracle service tell him in the name of jesus christ i appreciate you three years is enough time for you to sit down get koinonia messages 2012 13 14 it will liberate you please out of my house sometimes you need to push some people into their breakthrough over pampering destroys hallelujah over pampering destroys there are times you need to get up and challenge yourself. They send you money in two weeks. You're already calling again. Laziness. You won't do anything. You hear that there is scholarship. Free. There are many graduates. Many graduates. You win is out. They won't apply. I think it finished today. They won't do anything. You said God told you you'll be an entrepreneur. Huh? And you are not doing anything. You've never gotten up to go for any seminar to build yourself. You see a seminar, you reject it. You are not watching anything on YouTube. You are not going to sit and learn under people. You are just sitting down bragging around with nonsense. That's what a lot of young people are doing around. Huh? God blesses you with 50,000 that can start something that can bless you. You use it and buy a suit to prove a point to the people who are busy building their destinies. They are not even seeing the point. You must change this year in the name of Jesus Christ. Fear and laziness. We are going to pray. Three serious prayer points. The moment we pray these three prayer points, the night will start with the sick people. We we'll start ministering to the sick people. As soon as we pray the three prayer points, please begin to write your prayer requests while we minister. Those outside, can you shout hallelujah? One more time, shout hallelujah. The Lord will visit you in a mighty way in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Rise up on your feet and let's pray. Success is not automatic. There are laws. There are laws. This is our year of the rain. God has spoken to us, shown us the loopholes. Lift your hands and begin to thank God for this word tonight. He that he loves, he chastises. Bless his name. Bless his name. Lift your hands inside and outside. Bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Father, for this word. It has come to clean me up. It has come to purify me. It has come to challenge me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Prayer point number one. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Please say it like you believe it. In the name of Jesus. I receive grace to align my mindset to that of the word of God. Every thinking pattern every thought process that is not of god i challenge you in the name of jesus lift your voice and begin to pray father give me the mindset of victory i'm tired of carrying ideologies some of us have ideologies about church 
we have ideologies about praying in tongues ideologies about the holy spirit ideologies about prosperity ideologies about miracles ideologies about responsibility about marriage that are antagonistic to the ways of god the first miracle tonight is to pray i submit my mentality i submit my thought pattern please pray pray from your heart i refuse to be limited there is still a place for champions in life there is still a place for the great but you can never rise above your thought pattern you can never rise above your ideology you may have held on to it for years it's time to probe your ideologies it's time to probe your ideologies it's time to re-examine your mindset let this mind be in me that was in christ jesus the mindset of victory i don't see defeat in my life i don't see defeat with god i am unlimited with god i am unbeatable with god i am a champion ay, 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 ay. pray rejoice not over me my enemies for though i fall yet i will rise again hallelujah hallelujah prayer point number two you are going to challenge that spirit of laziness are you getting my point fear and laziness let's combine it together say after me in the name of jesus i challenge every spirit of fear for god has not given me the spirit of fear but of love of power and of a sound mind therefore i declare that fear is banished from my life i refuse to fear and i challenge laziness from today i receive the grace to be diligent no more laziness it's time to take action lift your voice and begin to pray time to take action 2015 time to take financial steps 2015 time to take spiritual steps 2015 time to take intellectual steps go ahead and pray oh in the name of jesus i cause the spirit of fear fear of death fear of past failure every intimidation inside and outside pray pray i cause the spirit of fear i cause the spirit of fear I'm a champion. I can make it. I can break barriers. I can break barriers. I am well able. I am not weak. I am strong in the strength of the Lord. And I cause laziness. I cause laziness. Laziness to study the word. Spiritual laziness. Mental laziness physical laziness hallelujah last prayer point 
As we pray this prayer point, my goodness, I already sense the power of God in a mighty way. That's right. As we pray this very prayer point, the healing power of God will begin to move. Hallelujah. I'm going to request those who are sick, those who came specifically for healing, you will find your way as, hold on, let's pray first before you come. I'd like you to come believing that you will part with that sickness forever. Hallelujah. The last prayer point. Say in the name of Jesus. Oh God. Reveal to me. The strategy. For possessing my blessing. Reveal to me. The strategy. In the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. Lord I cry. What is the strategy? What is the strategy? Come on, pray, Koinonia. I cry unto the spirit of wisdom. Show me the strategy for my prosperity. Show me the strategy for my blessing. Show me the strategy for my lifting. Show me the strategy to get the attention of my destiny help us show me the strategy for the church growth show me the strategy for the expansion of my business show me the strategy for five points show me strategy for first class show me the strategy to pass the jam show me the strategy hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, hey, hey. show me the strategy to unlock my marital destiny show me the strategy to unlock my marital destiny pray show me the strategy oh yes the strategy is revealed in the place of prayer in the place of prayer Make sure you are praying tonight. Show me the strategy to open me up to the next level of destiny. Show me the strategy. I'm tired of making mistakes. I'm tired of moving in circles. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. I'm tired of marking time. It's time to break forth. Hallelujah. Begin to pray now and say, God, visit me. We're going to do, the Holy Ghost will do a very quick walk. Very quick walk. Hallelujah. Those who are sick, I'd like you to come up and line up here very quickly. If you came here for the miracle service for healing, please come and line up. Ushers, help them, coordinate them. Let's have it very quickly. While that is happening, make sure you write your request. There is a mystery of answered prayer in this house. Make sure, please. If you have not written your prayer request, start writing it. I don't care what the situation is. I'd like you to write it and let's drop it before God. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, oh mighty God. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, those of you in front, I know you came here because of the testimonies you have had. 
I want you to know that your situation will not be different. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I want you to believe in the power of God. There are certain conditions. Listen to me. There are conditions in this place that are entirely demonic. Hallelujah. It's going to be a fast one. I don't know if we'll have time to take testimonies or not, but because there, I, I really, I really, really need to rush with time and let's do a lot. Please, if we end late today, I apologize in advance. We'll do our best to kill time, but please, wait because God has something to do in your life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Father, we give you praise. It's called a miracle service. We thank you for the anointing of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Everybody make sure you participate. Now, if, there, if you have loved ones who are sick, you can connect. You can tell them to connect. Praise the Lord. You don't need to come out for them, but you can call them or do whatever and tell them, look, connect to what God is doing. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Worship team, help us. Praise the Lord. Father, we give you all the praise and we trust you to glorify the name of your son right now. In Jesus' name. Go ahead, please. Who brought this lady? Who brought this lady? Who came with her, please? If you brought somebody, let's know. Please, we are not faking it here. What's, what's wrong with her legs? Who brought her? My dear, look at me. What's wrong with your leg? Huh? You what? There is a wound in my leg. My leg is swollen. Your leg is swollen. I'm looking in the spirit and I'm seeing a charm. Look at me. What what did you say? You sat in what? I woke up. So you woke up and you saw your leg. leg. It's not a wound. This is a charm. In the name of Jesus, I break it. I curse it. Look at me. You've not been able to walk. I can walk for long. Okay, look at I me. Keep coming out look at pause. me. It's coming out with pause. I curse it. Look at me. Just look at me. Keep your legs. Just look at me. Don't look at your legs. Look at me. Look at me. Not, don't look at the legs. In the name of Jesus, walk. Come. come. Just come. Don't look at me. Look at me. Come. Walk. Come on. Give Jesus praise. Look at what is happening. <laughs> See, she's even surprised. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Can you climb up here? Climb by yourself. It's witchcraft. Don't be afraid. Help her if she needs any help. Okay, come. Move your legs. Just do what I'm doing. Move your legs. Move your legs. I curse that devil in the name of Jesus Christ. I break that power of witchcraft right now. I release that. Come on now, Koinonia. Give Jesus praise. God is healing people in this place. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy that anyone that has orchestrated anything for you to fall into in the name of Jesus Christ, this night, I command those powers to be broken in the name of Jesus. My dear, it never returns to you again. And this veil that I see over you in the spirit, I command that veil to go now in the name of Jesus Christ. Give God praise. Help us worship him. Please, let's hurry. You are the one who brought him. No, no, no. Talk, talk on his behalf. Let's save time, please. Okay. Our time. Said I have been sick since 1980. 1998. 1998. Yes. Is he hearing what I'm saying? Yes, he hearing. Okay. You Bless you, Daddy. Thank you. Since 1998, what's yes. the sickness? Liver. Liver problem. Liver problem, sir. Mm. Sir. What What are the symptoms? What happens to him? Okay, sir. The baby was swimming. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pray for you okay. right now. Mm -hmm. When I pray for you, that swelling will go down now. Now. And you'll be able to walk. In the name of Jesus Christ. I curse that spirit. You are a spirit. Answer to the name of Jesus right now. I command the swollen stomach to go down right now. You see what is happening to you? In the name of Jesus. The heat sensation you're feeling is the power of God. 
Thank you, Jesus. Heal right now. Sir, please come. Because the devil wants to use this and put stroke on you. Um, would you mind if, if I ask you to jump? Will you jump? Okay, just just try. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just go ahead. Go ahead. Just lift it as high as you can. Look at me. Don't look at the legs. Go ahead, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ. All right, let's let's try. Just jump a little. Don't be afraid. Go ahead. Go. Ahead. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now walk, sir. Come. Just walk as fast as you can. As fast as you can. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God is awesome. You are healed completely. In the name of Jesus Christ. As I stepped here, I saw this woman tied from head to toe. This is what I'm seeing. Head to toe. And I'm seeing blood all over you. This is what the Lord is ministering to me. What's wrong with her? Um, suddenly, she just goes lean like this. Mommy, There's look no at me. Ache. You will not die. Hold my hands. Just hold my hands. Just hold it. Look at me. Just look at me. Thank you, Jesus. Now I curse this power. Let mama go now. In the name of Jesus. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. I curse that spirit. Let her go now. I lose you. What couldn't she do? Like Parkinson's disease. Mama, in the name of Jesus Christ. Walk. Come. 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 Climb by yourself. Come. 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 Follow me. Just follow me, Mama. Look at this. Come on now, Koinonia. Give God praise. Can you lift your hands? See, she's laughing. Try to lift your hands, Mama. Can you lift your hands? Can you lift your hands? Is it which of the hands can she lift? Okay, go ahead. Lift, lift your hands. Lift your hands. Bring it down. Lift your hands. Come on, Koinonia. Give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. In the name of Jesus, look at me. Lift your legs. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead. Go ahead. In the name of Jesus. I cause that spirit. Mama is released right now. Koinonia, give God praise. Let's celebrate what God is doing. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command that power. Come, I need to pray for you too. Your mother, right? I pray for you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Because I'm seeing this thing. If I don't pray for you, it will affect you too. Right now, I curse. Lord, he's a worker in this house. Therefore, I curse that spirit. You are a sister. Lift your hands. If I don't pray for you, you have problem with marriage. You are young now, but we need to pray. This thing is the whole family thing. Out! In the name of Jesus Christ. I release you from this act of witchcraft in the name of Jesus Christ. Salvation returns to this family. Go ahead and massage her legs. Hallelujah. Please, we are going to really, really be fast. As soon as we pray for you, just give room. Usher, start collecting the prayer request. If you have somebody's picture as I come, I may not be able to talk again. And so we'll just lay our hands. Believe God. Believe God that the situation will change in Jesus' name. My God is
there is an iron in your leg oh that's what stops you from moving but can you stretch it in the name of Jesus father careful although there is an iron in your leg in the name of Jesus may there be a miracle I command this shorter leg to grow out now by the Spirit of God madam look at me do you want to try walking uh -uh. I'm not asking you what you, have. you came here because you believe God can help you is that true you believe that okay as careful as you can move your legs you're, you're related to her come who are you your sister madam all right don't cry don't cry please come madam do you feel pain you feel pain because of the iron it's difficult now for us to but after i pray for you can you talk to the doctors to look at your legs and look at the iron they'll be coming on wednesday okay fine father in the name of jesus we agree that as they come on wednesday and check this leg they will remove this iron and she will walk normally look at look at this look at what the power of god is doing in the name of jesus christ i cause that spirit let there be a miracle right now in the name of jesus christ let her have a seat please quickly let's let's save time worship team help us let's not have they will remove the iron madam and you will walk normally in the name of jesus christ i need to pray for you yes i need to pray for you madam because as i'm looking at you i'm seeing pains i'm seeing pains um, like abdominal pains and the lord is asking me to minister to you can i pray for you hold my hands jesus do a miracle right now i cause that pain by the power of the holy spirit praise the lord praise the lord please just line them forward let them just come forward in the name of jesus i don't need to ask you what the situation is i really want you to believe that praise the lord i i don't want you to think that maybe if i don't ask you it means i don't give value to you no it's not even me doing the miracle right it's the power of the holy spirit thank you such an awesome god such an awesome God. Hallelujah. Please rise up, everybody. Rise up, everybody. We're going to cause every wicked power. Please listen. Hallelujah. Look at me. I told us that one of the benefits and the blessings of prayer is the ability to cause limiting powers it's called a miracle service and this is january hallelujah we believe in the full gospel and everything jesus died to give listen every power that has tied anyone's destiny down it's time for it to go are you listening to me lift your voice and pray in one minute go ahead and pray and say father every spirit that is not of god looming around my life and my family please make sure you are praying that as the word of god comes now there will be mighty mighty deliverance lord let there be deliverances Break limitations over people's lives. Hallelujah. Listen. 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 The reason why the reason why we do deliverance is not is not working against the fact that Jesus says we are this and that and that. It is on the strength of that. The Bible says, although he has put all things under his feet, he said, we do not yet know. I hear a lot of people criticize the ministry of deliverance and all of that. Um, while I know that there are exaggerations here and there, let me tell you something. The people of God must be subjected to the full weight of all that God's power and anointing can do. Are you following me now? There are people who have struggled here. You love God. But doors will just not open. Let me tell you, there are powers sitting on people's destiny. And by the grace of God, by the grace of God, I'm going to minister to people right now. I see an angel of the Lord moving and a lady is going to shout. I don't know why God does these things. 
under the anointing when that happens it's a sign that the spirit of God is ready to move and deliver people lift your hands hear me brothers and sisters it takes the power of God to subdue principalities and there are some of you right now both for you and your family there are forces that will not let you go but this night and right now my goodness there is the fire of the spirit at the count of three it's not just a recitation you're going to shout that name the name that paid access for your liberty bring up bring them out my goodness deliverance is already happening inside and outside there will be mighty angels there is the sword of the spirit lord let there be deliverance every family every destiny tied under any yoke of bondage i invoke it in the spirit that at the count of three those devils are under fire one two three come out now i command powers be gone now i cause principalities i cause spirits i cause powers inside outside the angel of the lord is moving i command witchcraft bring them out spirits of ancestry in the name of jesus the powers that have tied down man's destinies the forces that have refused to let you go right now i come with an apostolic anointing and in the name that is above all names let fire fall from heaven over your life over your academics over your marriage through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves lift your hands was he shouting one more time please bring them listen for some of you what will happen right now is not just for you alone but for your family just keep them down there hallelujah malakata and i see this affecting many ladies because i see marriage is being tied makoto tobakata sheketelekaya as you shout that name jesus you may not even know that that thing is in your family but all of a sudden physical fire physical fire will begin to burn right now on the count of three i challenge those powers one two three go 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 i cause that spirit delay delay i cause that spirit inside and outside i command that devil of delay to go now i command that power tying your destiny i command that power tying your breakthrough i command that power tying your family the price has been paid by the blood of jesus i break every legal access by the blood of jesus i break every legal access by the blood of jesus i break every legal access by the blood of jesus i release marriages i release miracles i command breakthrough fire is burning i command breakthrough i set those altars on fire i set those covens on fire hallelujah lift your hands where are those who have been oppressed academically lord where are they there are people who would have moved forward 
as I speak right now, fire is coming on people. Fire is coming. Release the academics now. Release the academics now. Release the academics now. 2015, the year of the rain. Release the academics now. I command those powers. I challenge them. They must lead one. There is a family the Lord is showing me. You have been under stagnation for 10 years. 10 solid years. But as I prophesy right now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I command that family to be released now. I command that family to be released now. Ay, 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 ay. I command that family to be released now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name that is above all names, I pray and I prophesy. The Lord is showing me men whose hands have been tied. And, and see, when your hands are tied, it means the capacity for favor and the capacity to move forward is not there. Lift your hands. Some of you will feel physical fire. Physical fire on your hands. There are chains burning. Lord, where are they? let the sword of favor break them free from every oppression right now as i speak anyone whose hands are tied in the spirit i command those hands to be loose now i command those hands to be loose now the fire is falling 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 inside and outside falling i break the chain my goodness, there are angels outside. The fire is falling. Chains of delay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In one minute, lift up the exact situation you want God to change. Begin to talk to him. Go ahead before prophecy comes. Please don't keep quiet. No matter how impossible it is, there is an anointing. Inside and outside, make sure you are talking to the Lord. This and that and that are my requests. Do a miracle. Some of you need a 24 hour miracle. Now all those here in front, in the name of Jesus, and by the fire of the Holy Spirit, at the count of three, not only will those devils leave, they must release your family members. I speak to every spirit. You know my voice. I represent the embassy of heaven. And in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, you will leave now. One, two, three. Go, go, go. Go, go. Go, go. Never to return. Never to return. Never to return. Never to return. Go. Go. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands towards this request. Your requests are there. Please, in case you've not dropped yours, locate it quickly to the ushers. It's not a ritual. There is a mystery of answered prayer. Hallelujah. The Bible says how that Ezekiah took the request before God. The threats may be joblessness. It may be impossible situations. As I kneel upon this request and we pray together, just for one or two minutes, see, I assure you, I assure you, you will return with a testimony. 
except you refuse to come and testify stretch your hands and begin to pray thank you jesus Remember last week we thought that words activate spiritual laws. Hallelujah. I want you to receive. For some of you, there will be an instant performance in the name of Jesus. I want to start by praying for families. Every family that has been in a state of stagnation, please lift your hands inside and outside. I'm prophesying now. Every family represented in this place in the name of jesus christ in this year of the rain i command that between now and next month miracle service let there be dramatic breakthroughs let there be dramatic breakthroughs let there be dramatic breakthroughs By the agency of the spirit we activate every law that needs to be in motion in the name of jesus the laws of favor the laws of destiny help us in the name of jesus i pray anyone here who has been under any academic bondage from secondary school to master's phd right now in this year of the rain i command speed for you i declare move forward now move forward now make progress now move forward now in the name of jesus i pray for anything that has died in your hands business the works of your hands relationships in the name that is above all names let resurrection happen in your life now please believe what i'm saying believe what i'm saying god is changing people's situations this is how god changes situations by the power of his prophetic word i say it again whatever has died I speak to that which was dead. Come back to life now. I command every blood condition, whoever is standing here and you are SS, right now, we change that genotype to AA. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
I cause hepatitis be crushed to the root in the name of Jesus. We cause HIV. You leave God's people in the name of Jesus. Everyone here who has been oppressed by spirits, you sleep in the night and they oppress you. In the name of Jesus, let the fire of the Holy Ghost bring deliverance to you now. Ay, ay, ay. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit bring deliverance to you now. There are people here, it works for others until it gets to your turn. Then it fails right now in the name of Jesus. I command that the last time that tragedy happened in your life, the power of God is moving on this word, moving strong on this word. The last time it happened, the mystery behind that tragedy, I cause it in the name of Jesus. I declare that in this January, between now and next month's miracle service, what you could not do in the whole of 2014, may my God empower your hand to do it. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for every dying CGPA here. Hear the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. I command it to come alive. There are people here. Students. Your true status is first class. But something has tied you down. Your true status is four points. But something has tied. Whatever that something is. I lift it off your life now in this year 2015 go back to your departments and break barriers in the name of Jesus I pray for every business here whatever has stopped it from working in the name of Jesus we command it to come alive now whoever needs to come into your life between now and next miracle service and open a door for you I call them forth now I call them forth now I declare whoever is jobless and looking for a job here or your family members in the name that is above all names where they said there are no jobs we create jobs now believe it believe it we create jobs now in the name of Jesus Christ whoever has been assigned by my father to favor you and has refused to respond to you in the name of Jesus may the Lord compel them to respond in the name of Jesus I pray for your spiritual life whatever has robbed you of an effective prayer life every worry everything that has robbed you I command fresh impartation of prayer grace receive it now fresh impartation of prayer fire whatever makes you study the Bible and you don't understand may the spirit of wisdom come upon you right now and I pray for you every habit in your life masturbation pornography and any other thing that is not of god that has robbed you of your christian integrity you love god but you find things pushing you that embarrass you right now i agree with you be delivered now i agree with you be delivered now hallelujah whoever is being eyed for death in this place that the devil has vowed that you will not see February miracle service and praying by the mystery of the blood I open that door of gate of, of death and I command in the name of Jesus that your soul is ransomed from the gates of death 
in the forthcoming election you are preserved in the name of jesus whoever comes to destroy you will die before he gets to you in the name of jesus as you travel on the road you are preserved you cannot be a victim of accident in the name of jesus i establish the covenant of peace upon your life you are protected by the angels of heaven i declare right now that in 2015 living from hand to mouth that spirit of begging living from hand to mouth by the mystery of divine supply i bail you out of that wicked situation in the name of jesus i pray for you whatever you wrote here as a request right now i agree with you that it is turned into a testimony i say it one more time whatever you wrote here as a request i agree with you we turn it into a testimony by the power that turned the rod of moses into a serpent and back into a rod i turn what was here as a as a prayer request by the power of the holy ghost let it become a testimony in your hands in the name of jesus every factor that must be in place for you to stand here and testify i release it in the name of jesus i pray we pray for our lecturers every lecturer that has been victimized and any lecturer that the devil is eyeing to bury this year in the name of jesus by the mystery of the blood they are preserved i'm speaking any position that belongs to any god-fearing lecturer that is being truncated by powers of darkness we stand as the parliament of heaven in this city and we enforce compliance in the name of jesus christ and i pray for you if there is one thing that should happen in your life let it be indescribable favor 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 i prophesy from the depths of my heart if you have never seen favor happen in your life you will see favor that will make you cry financial favor marital favor academic favor spiritual favor receive it in the name of jesus hallelujah lift your hands and bless the lord thank you jesus hallelujah now you're here you've never given your heart to the lord jesus you've never made him lord of your life we're out of time please keep standing everybody let's honor these people you are here and you have never given your life to christ remember we said the basis for your victory is what jesus christ has done wherever you are or you have once given your life to christ but for some reason you found your life going haywire and you need to make your ways right don't say time is gone please wherever you are inside or outside you might be a new student you've been a christian all your life or you may be new in this town i pray right now that you respond to the call of god wherever you are you are returning to jesus or you are making decisions for the first time please make your way to the front be bold about it be bold about it i know god is talking to somebody don't wait for anybody to come you are the first person find your way to the front god bless you god bless you please make sure you celebrate them as they come celebrate them god bless you those outside no matter how far you are make your way to the front jesus said if you are ashamed of me before men i will be ashamed of you before my father if you deny me before men young and old make your way you are not too far don't let the devil say you are far make your way run to the front run to the front forget about your neighbor or who you came with it's a personal affair tonight hallelujah thank you so much for coming lift your hands as i leave you to pray say after me jesus i believe in you i believe you died for me tonight i repent of my sins 
I obtain forgiveness and cleansing. Wash me with the blood of Jesus. I receive eternal life into my spirit. And I declare that I'm a changed person. The power of sin is broken over my life. And I'll never be the same. In the name of Jesus. Now keep your hands lifted. Father, thank you. You brought these ones to your throne. May their decisions be genuine. Preserve them by the power of the Holy Spirit. They will never be the same. I break the power of sin over your life. You have eternal life into your spirit. And I declare that you are of the family of faith. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Now I'd like you to follow the ushers. Follow the gentlemen waving their hands. All of you this way. They will give you a few informations. And you'll be back to your seat. God bless you brother. Join them and they will lead you into that place. Dearly beloved. I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salman. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye